What up, Wham fam? We're here. We're back. More, more Black Ram GX streaming. William Harris, hello. How are you doing? Aloha, my friend. We are uh, switching it up for today, Friday. Um, since we missed Monday over a holiday, we'll be doing some Xbox stuff again today, um, which is why we're only a few minutes late. We had to do a lot of switching around. Um, we'll be back to the PlayStation 1 Classics on Monday. I did want to show you. I found some things. William, thank you for the like, buddy. Hell yeah. Other William, thank you as well. Cheers. I did get a classic Crash Bash here. You cannot see this because it's the greatest hits. Um, Four-player, multiplayer game. Amazing. One of the best. But I also found another even older four-player multiplayer game for PS1 called International Track and Field. If you've not heard of this game, you literally can find it as an arcade game in other places. Amazing. I mean, you can tell it's old when it's a tall box. It's also rated KA, Kids to Adults. So it's so old that that was still a rating at the time. I found those. I thought that was really cool. And not that you're able to see it, but I did get my see-through green controller for PlayStation or Invisible. As you can see, there are buttons, but there is no actual physical case. You can't just get these. But I did. Um, <laughs> it was one of my favorites as a kid, and I smashed it or spilled soda on it or something. I don't know. So anyway... We're going to get right into um, random Madden games. We're going to start with Madden. I don't know what we'll go into as the stream goes along. Might do Rainbow Six Siege. Might do um, Warzone or Apex or something. It could be a lot of different things. I don't know. We'll see as we're getting silly and we're playing. We're having a fun time. We're going to start off playing with random people. And eventually, um, Critical Deuce might join us um, for a round or two of Madden. So let's get on over to it. Just a quick reminder to everybody, if it is your first time watching, uh, please do drop a follow, even if you're watching after the stream's over. Um, if you're over there on YouTube, drop a sub. Appreciate you watching. If you've been here before, do what Mr. William Harris did and drop that like. Appreciate everybody. William, what's going on, buddy? Ryan, what's happening? Yo, yo, yo. Let the hype party get rolling. Let's get this party started. Shit, yeah. I got a backup beer and I got a little... Uh, Bourbon in the cup. Cheers. It's getting a little watered down. It's a little hot. My ice is melting. So drinking rules. Pretty much every game I'm going to play today is going to have some kind of drinking rules. Um, if you're watching and you're drinking, doesn't matter if you're drinking water, soda, apple juice, or booze yourself. Um, if I score... Every point I score is a drink for you. So I get a touchdown and a field goal. Seven. Seven drinks for you. If I get scored on, I drink those points. That's how this game's going to work. I'm also going to take a drink for turnovers. If I throw an interception, I'll take a drink. Well, what the shit? So if you want to participate, please do and let me know. Ryan, I said thank you for the like because I'm so used to seeing the like first, but you actually shared first just like yesterday. So I appreciate you. Cheers very much. <sighs> Delicious. How are you doing, Ryan? William, not much. Watching the boys. Dude, I can't wait to watch that. The boys is one of my favorite um, shows ever. It's such like a real representation of what I think normal people in today's society would be like if they had those powers. I think that's what regular people would turn out to be. The comic book superheroes who are just always good and selfless, I think that would be such a rare thing. So, <clears throat> I just love how a completely fictional universe and possibilities, but I, what a real, more realistic take would be. The company, the marketing, I mean, it's all just what I would say is so accurate. I love it. I can't wait to watch that season. The first two, I believe this is only season three, right? The first two absolutely blew my balls off. They were so good. I had to look for weeks to find them.
first down. Mitchell. And it worked this forward. You work tomorrow, Ryan? It's second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Off of play action. And here's Lance. He's airing it out for Sanu. And that got to be incomplete. That's nice. I guess for your job, there isn't really a day off. Probably not even holidays, right? Dang it! I was hoping he'd drop that. <laughs> what time do you work? Do you work early or do you work late? Like, you know, can you have a little fun? Have some... Uzi's. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. That's just a pile of bodies. William Ryan, either one of you guys uh gonna take some drinks in Almost took that away. Possession, so they will indeed hold on to the pick skin. 69 was right there, though. That's the latest number, and I might take a drink since 69 got involved. I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Buying time was left. Jeez. Floyd able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. He's airing it out for Sanu. Ooh. Turnover. If anyone's playing the game with me, that is a field position. So here's a first and ten at the thirty-eight. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And a short gain there down to the thirty-seven. I've got a feeling since this guy went for it on fourth and twenty-seven with a long bomb like that that I'm going to dominate. Whoever else dropped a reaction, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Uncanny luck, my friend. Thank you for that like. Ooh! Jeez. What's up? Did you get that ace yet? I told you, you gotta kill your teammates. He's playing Siege. You take out all of them, uh, and then there's nobody there to stop you. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Escaping the pressure right. I don't know if that was going to be a good pass. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play. You know how it is. Someone would come open downfield, but they never. Can you do it ranked or not? So the failure to connect on second down that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. Of course he dropped it. Fucking stone hands. Magoo over here. I'll just go for the save points since he screwed up. Disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Three drinks for anyone watching that's playing the game. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And this Ooh, I'm going to be honest. I got scared there. My hands got a little sweaty. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And on that last drive... Went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense. Can't run from so me. Three, but this offense, got to be a what are you thinking? I know his plan. He always starts with that outside run. And then he does deep passes pretty much every time. The coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here. Because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what I think that factor did. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game. That's 
Oh, shit. Two guys hit him at once, and you just broke through like that? I don't like that. On first and ten, here's Lance. A little shaky, a little shaky, letting these guys get open. Oh, Ryan, my day's off for Thursday at 8 and Friday. I don't know how many streams I'll be catching because... I have such schedule, but after this week, my hours will be all over the place. One holiday, I get off, it's Christmas. And sometimes not even that. Oh man, that sucks. But you're the hype train. They'll say no to the 46 yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. And they'll go for it. Lance. That's George running back complete. That would suck if we weren't seeing you every day. You get everything pumped up. You need to find you a new job. That's what I'm determining here. I have never seen a tackle like that. I'll be here when I can. Oh, that's good. I know you will. I appreciate you. You're an awesome guy. Sucks that your set schedule is eroding. Shit. Cheers. I just drank seven because I assumed he was doing this. So what's causing the shakeup in hours? Is someone quit or something? Guys understaffed? I feel like... The company's got to be always understaffed. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. Well, you said you're like a lead or management, right? Like they used to, I think you were saying once that they used to be management and they took it out and now there's just like leads. So you probably get uh, shafted on the hours, huh? After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. You used to be manager. That's what I thought. I remember this conversation over Elden Ring a month ago. Mostly. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to really care. Most of them want it in with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kid. I feel like you got to be like a... Extra point. That's it. There was a manager or lead position of like cart return. First and ten, and they've got to be the prime spot. Out there, a jumbo package look. Or doing like the undercover security. I had a buddy who worked at a couple different uh, Walmarts as the undercover security. You just come in in your regular clothes and you just walk around the store. Try to catch people stealing shit. They'll have a look back at the next gen stats from this first half of action. Airing it out deep for Woods. Alright, that's garbage that the cornerback even had a shot at that. Garbage, I say! Someone got my hours. Um You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under. Because they use the electric jack and lift. I can't use him, so he got my hours. Still very ticked off about it. That's kinda bullshit. That just for that reason, he takes your hours. Ah, turn over. Mm -hmm. 
And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So after the incompletion on first, now... Well, oh, there's a crap Taylor. company I work for. Yeah. It definitely is. The handoff. Now Lance. Taking a shot for Samuel. I uh, know several people that work there, and I never wanted to. I just knew that they didn't have a good reputation in the first place. Steps away to his left, and now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle, throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Number four really got in my way. You don't want to do the job security or the security job because you have a quota you have to make. If not, they get rid of you. That's kind of bullshit. So it purely depends on people stealing from you. So if like people were just not awful, then uh, Flushed out right, and he'll just get rid of it. Done nothing. Then again, from what I understood, they're almost never not be people stealing from Walmart. Yeah, Apparently, there's like organizations that that's what they do. Is they steal from Walmart. They steal like hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Flush to his right. First and ten at the 34 yard line. And this is caught inside the five. And I'm pretty sure that's uh, roughing the passer. Except. So a little extra on top of the big play there. What a garbage human being. Things were good when Sam Walton was alive. Totally different since he passed. I guess I don't know. I know the Walton name. But I don't really know uh, much else besides that. So is it just his kids that own it now? They own Sam's Club. Is that why it's called Sam's Club, Sam Walton? I'm going to take a drink for just dominating that man. After the touchdown, it's gay to kick this one away. Too easy, too easy. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Tim on the spot, yeah, I believe his kid found it. Still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Yes, I believe this kid's, uh, for the most part, sold it. And yeah, that's why it's called Sam. <laughs> okay, I thought so. I don't know things. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Lance. Dance into his left. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking. Surprising they sold it off. I thought the family still owned it. Okay, he's not gonna get the first but I don't know. I don't know. This is just like things I hear from others. And then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Eluding the pressure right. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little hmm. further down inside the 40. So what's been different since he passed to what it was like beforehand? Lance now on first down. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. Because I thought they were kind of always garbage. It was just the convenience of what the store provides that made it even a thing. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. 
you know, they would like pretty much, and I, I might be wrong, but the first like super convenience store, right? It was always like general stores that had small things, but never like these mega stores. Now Lance again. Escaping the pressure right. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. Holy oh, shit, I'm going to return it. It's a foot race. Pass the 20. Woo! See you later. You can quit the game at any time. Disqualified. That's his name. Can't see it. But, uh... Oh, am I muted? Okay. I'm like, I'm not muted. He's hearing literally every time. So. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah. Sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Yeah, hey, us workers expect more. Work. Ooh. It was worth a try, almost worth The highest workers expect more. The company itself doesn't care, doesn't listen. All they care about is money and um, all they look at is numbers. That's fair. That's most giant corporations for sure. Um, there is like a massive amount. I think there's like 33% less men in the workforce now than there was like five or ten years ago someone was just telling me i don't know any of this for fact i didn't look into it myself um welcome back half time over we are ready just a, a lot of problems the workforce is just significantly smaller than it used to be so they expect the same kind of results from <clears throat> limited number that they would have had before and then if they get those results from their employees then they really expect it and that becomes the new norm and there's no pay increase necessarily for that so it's really hot hot garbage I don't blame you I uh how are you I'd look out to it but I think they pay decent, don't they? Well, the Rams gonna get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second. God, he's not even started. here. When that happens, it means you took too long. You're not even in the game. Defensively at the 40-yard line. Come on, blow these processes and ideas. They force on um, using none of them, or using none of them um, that work it makes it harder on us. Nothing they come up with help to help works. Yeah, not a lot of creativity probably in that building either, right? Doesn't really matter when you're high enough up. They don't pay well. McDonald's doesn't pay too bad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's probably not any better. Um, I guess I wonder what I, what's out there. You know, like any manufacturing job, all comp I'm not saying they're good jobs. I'm not going to say they're better as far as like your happiness and also that guy was laying on the ground and speared me in a way that's physically impossible but uh, manufacturing jobs will almost always pay better and the schedule is better you get holidays paid there's a lot of perks to manufacturing jobs versus something like Walmart um, so it doesn't look like you can't get screwed on your schedule over. like that. Well, the defense certainly did I, I would say, football, if you can, exactly right. it looks like they have to pump hop into one of those. A actually, if you can get into the trades, like the do a trade job. Like, if you can become an electrician, it's horrible work. Let me say, most people I know who try to become an electrician hate it and do not make it. But if you can make it, 
and you last in it for like five, ten years, you will be making more money than people with college degrees around you. Like, you'll be making significant money. They will snatch you up just because you want to do it. And most of these companies, so long as you just work for them for a set amount of time, will pay for your schooling. Plumbing also sucks. Highest paid trade job you can get. You can be making thousands a week. And especially if you get big enough to work for yourself and you have the ambition to start your own business. If you ever decide to do that, you'll be making 5000 if you're not doing that much a month to 10000 plus. Five figures easy. Levon, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Well short of the first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Delicious. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with Certain the area of pay, okay, the been there 10 years. Key 11 years since July, and I don't even know if it's in Definitely do manufacturing. There's a lot of manufacturing jobs where you can get that 20 an hour. Um, if you go into the trades, you might start at that 14 an hour. Well, let me just say, if you put 10 to 11 years into the trades, if you stick with it as long as you have Walmart, you would be making bank, brother. And I'm just saying, if you put that 10 to 11 years, the next 10 to 11 years into uh, any kind of trade work, um, you'll have a house of your own, a boat, a nice big truck, um... Maybe a for fun Mustang. Reason being, it's not just the fact that it already pays well once you move up in your like journeyman status and all that. Um, it's unionized. So you're paying union fees in the beginning, but you're really well protected. Um, but also, the labor force for people in the trades is shrinking rapidly. There's... <clears throat> I think about 50,000 less um, welders on average each year, and most welders on average are making 36 to 40 bucks an hour. A lot of those jobs are being replaced by robots because people just don't want to do it. If you're just willing to do that shitty, shitty work, just grind it out day in, day out, you'll retire in your 50s. And that's because you were bored and you continue to work till your 50s. But I'm saying, listen here. You go into any of those trades, Ryan, it's a super good career move right now. Thing is, they can't replace plumbers and electricians and carpenters and all that with robots like they can welders, so... Most of those are still going to be making tons of money if you just stick with it. Biggest thing is most people don't stick with it. The demand is high, the hours are long too. Um, just because there's so much work that needs to be done. Michael Payne! What's going on, buddy? Thank you for the like. Cheers. Um, so that's the other thing. Sucky hours, but that means a lot of overtime too. And you know that's not easily done because they morning from down under. How are things down under today? Also, shout out to uh, Mr. Michael Payne. Followed me on Twitch with his account there, No Pain, No Game 01. Check him out. He's over here on Facebook as well. I think also on YouTube. He's everywhere. This is first and ten at the forty-six. A shotgun snap for Stamper. They'll check this down to Acres out of the back. What do I do? Well, I'm not in the trades, unfortunately. Um, and, and the thing is, is when I was a kid, when you were a kid, when most of us were kids, um, they didn't tell us to go into trades, right? Everyone was really brainwashed that they had to go to college. You gotta go, you gotta go. You'll never make any money if you don't. Right? Most of us heard that song and dance. Wasn't true. It was a picture painted by... That was really dumb of me. Um, the loan agencies that are making absolute bank off of all the college students. There's like 
enough money in student loans to pay off the U.S. government's debts worldwide. It's crazy. Trillions. Trillions. Absolutely garbage. Um, and look into that if you want to see the biggest scam ever in the United States. Uh, but I do the legal work. So it's called channel management. So whenever, um, for my company, we get a new dealer um, or we let go of an old dealer for any reason, people who deal our products, so like Walmart deals cereals, um, Hanes clothes, you know, for certain companies, they deal certain items. Same deal. We manufacture, um, and then... We give it to people who deal the product. Uh, so I handle all the legal paperwork of that. Changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling the plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Sounds interesting. It is. I've learned a lot. It's Mitchell. A lot. Really cool stuff. Um, not really that cool, but this isn't Donkey Kong, and it's windy. It is kind of windy here, too. This is kind of like Donkey Kong, just minus the donkey, the Kong, the barrels, the plumber. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception. It's, you do it's, things it's right middle, away. middle tier. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early learned from them and became great later but uh everyone Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year that's the NFL yeah I don't know if I could have gone back to high school and started fresh straight out I think I'd go into one of the trades don't know which one. Oh shit We've got a one score game with inside of two minutes I'd almost say plumber because they make the most money and here's the other thing not only if you go on the trades, you make a fuck ton of money, but you have a skill that now you can use to literally trade um, with all of your friends. Like, you don't want to buy a beer ever again. Fix your friend's plumbing. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to look at Jesus this, Christ. The I don't believe any of that just happened. Jeez. Also, you're never paying the hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for people in the trades to come to your place and do anything. You can just do it yourself. I just got to think to myself, at this point of the game, I know you've been aggressive. I know that your MO, and that's fine. And all those teams that talk about all gas, no brakes... You better have the emergency lever to pull occasionally. Plumbers deal with a lot of shit, though. I like that. That's hilarious. It's a pun and true. That's why they make the most money of anyone in the trades. So I did previously do uh, a lot of marketing and advertising work, which I significantly preferred. Just wasn't too happy with the company I worked for. Um, and I had a plumber I worked with. And... The guy was never shy about telling me how much money he made. It was really, um, kind of, not like cocky or super arrogant about it. I mean, kind of. The fact that he's always talking about it, he really wanted to flash it. It was also like a super nice guy. It was always like, oh, well, I bought some beer. You want some? Oh, you need some help with this? I'll help you. Um, but the money he made was just ridiculous. Like, yeah, I just came home with $5,000 today. What? And he'd blow it on a boat real quick because he'd make that much the next day. He had fun toys all the time. It's crazy. On second down now. It's Mitchell. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Electricians make more? They actually don't. Not in the United States. Um, especially not... I forget what the technical term is for the youngest ones. The lowest level. The lowest level makes garbage money. It is until you get up to like... 
Watch What's the top one? Master? Is it Master or something like that? They might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. You know, uh, electricians at their top are making 80, 90. No, they're making six figures. But plumbers at their top are making a lot more. In Australia, they do. Well, both make an absolute ton. But, uh... Yeah, interesting that's a little flip there. Carpenters, from what I've looked into and read, make the least initially, but it can be uh, the highest. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're taking it right down Broadway. The 20. And he's across for the touchdown. See you later. The win is mine. Here are the closing stages. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Get right back to it, and look. Long drives have their place. I mean, come on now. He thought he was going to win. <laughs> what a silly goose. Travis Lynch. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you back. Thank you for the like. Ah, that's all right. I don't need it. Cheers. He ain't going to get five points. Even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Carpenters make okay. Well, it depends. I mean, it really does. They have the biggest um, range of what they can make, depending on uh, skill level and your product, really. Cabinet makers don't make. I mean, unless something's wacky in Australia, they all make a lot. You know how much cabinets fucking cost? He literally gave me that too. That was hilarious. Same as Carpelea. I've heard Carpelea's make 100k in a year. And that's what you do? And you don't make 100k? <clears throat> if you're um, a newer employee at these things, you're never going to be making a ton. You know, that's that's the picture that needs to not be painted. And I've been trying to stress that at the beginning here. Is that if you go in the trades early on, you're not going to be making a lot. But, like Ryan was saying, he's been over at Wally World for almost 11 years in a month. I said if you put 11 years into a trade, you would be making a lot right now. So, I'm saying if he could put up with Wally World for 11 years, I think he could do a trade for that long. I think he'd be real well off. Shit, when you're done, you can buy Jake's rental or uh, retro. <laughs> that can be your store when you're done with your career. These people see my team and they quit. But I have to pick the Rams. Rams are one of the best teams. If I don't pick them and I pick my team, I go against people who are playing the Rams, the Chiefs, the Ravens. So the highest rated teams, and it is not an even game. If they're rated higher than your team, they are better than your team. And the chance of them winning, skill level doesn't matter, is significantly higher than yours because of random bullshit.
random bullshit can and will happen. Things completely out of your control. And uh, if you do not pick one of the best teams, you will get stomped on by the Madden roll of the dice. RNG is to blame for everything. But if you're the better team, the RNG is in your favor. So you just do that because I'll tell you what. I've gotten to the top 1% of the world. When this game came out with my team, and when I got there, I just got stomped by the top 1% because they only used the best teams. Could not beat them. Also, they were insanely good. Their skill gap was crazy between the top 2% and the top 1%. I never want to be that good again. I never want to play against those people. So I quit for a long time, so I fell down the rankings. And now I take on noobs. Ever send them a message? I did not. But I did randomly remember that my hometown store actually is a thing there's uh here's the first carry of the game for cam Akers. And he's gonna one there i went and i looked and they had an absolutely massive ps1 collection um i did get crash bash here in the mail today super good fun fun core player game but i found this there right tall box og ps1 game international track and field it's uh, Olympic track and field. You pick whatever country you want. Second and seven. Stafford flushed out right. Keeps himself upright. Oh, I thought I was already sacked. Um, and it's just fantastic. I played it once a long time ago with some buddies. And when I saw it there, I was like, oh my god. That's the game. I have to have it. So, I didn't, but I should for a few things. I thought I'd look in my hometown one and see what they have there. Because a couple games are just so hard to find. And they had a few of them. He finds it for the first down. But and he'll be brought down um, just shy of the I'm also a conditioned snob. I want it to be in the best possible condition it can be, not overpay. So I'm really uh really peculiar about what I'm looking for when it comes to these old retro games. You don't know anything about the sport, Michael? No, there's not much to know. Um, but let me let me explain. So there's 100 yards. Um, there's that painted area back there. That's the blue. That's what's called my end zone. Behind me is their end zone. Um, you can... The ball starts on the ground. You have a player called the center who puts his hand on the ball. When he moves it off the ground, the play starts, gives it to the quarterback, and he has two things. He can either hand it off to a guy, which is what I keep doing, just gives it straight to him and he runs, or the quarterback can hold it and try to throw it to somebody. And your only objective is to get into that end zone on the other side. You have four tries to get to this orange line you see in front of me. That's 10 yards. If you cannot make that 10 yards, then your try is over, the other team gets a shot. If you can make that, you'll get another 10 yards, and so on and so on and so forth. And so basically, the whole point is just get from one end to the other, whatever way possible. Me right now, I am running the ball down his throat. I'm just running it over and over and over again and making him like it. Damn it, I shouldn't have ran outside. I was looking for the running back who ran up and around, but then I had B, Odell Beckham Jr., wide open in the middle. Shit. Two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. 
Another try after the first down sack. Oh, he perfectly stopped right there. Surprised he didn't have to run for that one. And he'll take this across mid. Shit, cheers. And inside the 45. I'm not worried. I'm better than him. I'll, I'll crush him. Pandow, good to see you again, buddy. I haven't seen you in a little bit. What brought you on, Madden? This man loves Madden just like me. What the what the what the fuck playbook do I have? This is not my normal playbook. On first and ten, it's Gibson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The only reason I haven't been able to play this handout guy. It's because he's a PlayStation, um, PlayStation man himself, PlayStation player. I can't think of a good P. PlayStation person, PP. You need a P word. PlayStation Pro. Uh, they, they always all suck. Um, and I'm always on Xbox. But they do say that the next one will supposedly have crossplay. So he can't hide from me anymore. That's all I'm saying, Tyler, calling you out. It's on my feet, someone playing Madden, and then I saw your beautiful face, so I had to click it just in time for you to throw that pick. Oh, you saw that? Honestly, I'm giving him the best chance possible right now because I know this guy's got nothing. They'll go. It's Gibson. See? I can throw a pick for fun and then what's he going to do? Run it on fourth down? Like, what did you think was going to happen? The Rams offense at the line. Oh, intentional grounding my ass. I was out of the pocket. This is bullshit. This is the problem with today's society. These soft rules. Anyway, I'm just getting out drink. <laughs> I'm here to rant and only to rant. He's the commanders. You had to make it fair. That's right. I gave him one pick early on. I have some, uh, seen some super pro people who are like hella good, like way better than me. That uh, do like the behind by three challenge where they'll run back and pitch it out their own end zone so it gives them, is it an automatic touchdown or is it just a punt or something? I don't know. But they give them three touchdowns and then the whole game is to come back. And it's so fun to watch. Oh. Touchdown right here. Alright, not a touchdown, but big first down. I didn't expect that safety to be back there. Usually he bites on the left. And he played the safety on the right side. That should have been there to really stop me. Uh, but he bit super hard. Suck it up, Buttercup. Michael, you gotta go. Oh, sad day, but thank you for your service. You have a good time. Ryan, I'm gonna suck up this drink, that's for sure, if I keep uh, getting penalties. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. Two minutes on the clock and what's been a scoreless huh? first half. Drain the clock. Score on the last second. Okay. Got it. We're going to drain the clock. Score on him in the last second. Ready? Break. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So
Honestly, there's a mix of excellent coverage and me being kind of scared to throw. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Gonna go ahead and use Couldn't the find my play. So as they take it over, we step aside. Oh, Michael, all good. I thought you were gone already. Hell yeah, buddy. Um, are you going off to stream now that it's your? Is it your Saturday? Where is my play? This isn't my playbook. Or it is, but it's kind of weird. A plays? No, this is not my playbook. I don't know what's going on. I did not switch the playbook. Some of my plays are in here, but there's duplicate plays and so the kick from here on a field heavy playbook. Right at 53 yards, but instead, right, Cooper Cup wide open. Out there. They're going for it. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. Wide open? Definitely not the case. At the 28-yard line. Makata. And that's a big pickup of a first down. Yeah. And you know that cheers. all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through. I don't know if I cheers, Mr. Travis and, and Mr. Case, Tyler, uh, but double cheers. The right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Now a first down throw, Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Acres. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Second down at five. Brings up second and throwing again at Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll get this down to the 10. There we go now on first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And from the nine, they get this to the five yard line. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. The quick slant caught. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, That's stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Meanwhile, third down, they take he was like hella wide for a second there. But well, I guess I'll just take the lead. His defense is actually playing pretty excellent. Tracy says. Vision of your partner because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you still set three new likes on TikTok. Hey, how do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So, two quarters down, two remain. Charles, I wonder on which video perhaps those are eight escape clip from in a game where one field goal is all these offenses could muster in the first two quarters. You figure both coaching staffs were needing to make plenty of adjustments. Yeah, I honestly forgot what the call he was really doing half, on offense. Send it back out to Brandon God. Let's just assume he's going to have to throw it deep. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Dude, the Bears would be up 28-0 right now. I probably would. Against these lower-ranked teams, if I was the Bears, I could slaughter them. But when I'm the Bears and someone picks the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Bills, particularly the Bills, I can't do shit. So that's why I picked the Rams, even though their captains let me down right now. I just don't understand what's this garbage playbook. Next drive, the Washington offense. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. 
And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to hit the Bears next time? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. They'll go again with Gibson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Yeah, look out for those guys sleeping on the field. They're not sleeping. It's all said and done. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. God damn it. Space here. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. They'll run with Gibson. I definitely went outside. I gave them that one. Washington touchdown. Like a McMoron. Gibson, a 6-yard touchdown run. And Washington has taken the lead. He caught me in a bad formation. He knew it. Good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Joey Sly set to kick off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. All right. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. I think I want a quick touchdown. Be working from behind now, following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Back to throw. Stafford. That is horseshit. First of all, if you're like this wacky inflatable flailing arm two man alongside of another brick shithouse sized person catching with your ankles like this your ankles your <laughs> your wrist look at him look at him look at this fucking guy that's not possible i would just like to say that i am upset with the results of the impossible physics blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive and they come up with a pick right there on first down gibson this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Second down, here's Gibson again. Hey, Ladarius, thank you for that light. Cheers, buddy. Antonio Gibson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the interception by the Washington defense leads to a touchdown. So this, Charles, is a tight game through the first two quarters, but they've come out in this second half and really took the fight to them. And you and I both know that in the locker room at halftime, both sides head coaches emphasize the first five minutes of the second half okay. getting out and establishing yourselves one team has definitely done that the extra point by Sly well, is up and good and that up. pushes the lead oh, shit, up that's to all the I and no return on this one it's a fair catch a signal for and take it coach should call him bad plays Get the sand out of my eyes. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the touchdown. line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start? Just kidding. But Jesus Christ. 
I think you are. I don't think that there's This is the only team I feel like I've played where my guys get no separation on the computers. Try it again. Just kidding. We'll try it. But you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack. My God. My offense is just being shit rocked. My line cannot stop his line. And, uh, my guys cannot get separation. Also, Odell getting bullied out here. What is happening? Right. I'm gonna have to drink heavily for this one. And then, uh, so that's back to back drives where they've thrown an interception. You go back to the run game? I don't know if you noticed. I was trying to do the running game all game. And just getting absolutely uh, shit rocked. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And I couldn't get uh, first down to save my life running the ball. His O line is just, or his D line is just busting right through on me every time. Just busting one right, right through my line. One more time with Gibson. And he will push his way forward. I'm just being bullied and I don't know how to reverse it. Call it a gain of a yard as the momentum is so far on his side. Two straight I, on the even when it's on my side, I always thought the momentum was bullshit. I think it's probably one of the worst additions in this game because it doesn't do anything to help comebacks. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. He's the reverse, you know. Haha, <laughs> you've activated my reverse card. He's definitely going for it. Oh, I even got to him. He just pushed me over. Only football game I ever played was NFL Blitz. Now that's a football game. I did just play that like two weeks ago. That is a hilarious and fun game. Uh, NFL Blitz and NFL Blitz 2000 on... So with the miss PA and 64 was the shit. To kick this one off. Uh, and then when they did NFL Blitz again on the original Xbox and PS2, those games were insane. Wildcat? What is this playbook? I am getting shafted by the playbook. I won't use this as an excuse, but it is the real reason to drive the Rams offense at the line. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time to... I couldn't control him. That's one of the most annoying things about this game is when you cannot control your receiver. Because I was trying to pull him back the whole time. Pull him back into the ball, but he just kept running. And sometimes you absolutely can control your receivers. This is the NFL. But there are plenty, and I mean plenty of times, where the game absolutely does not allow you to have control. And Stafford's so overthrew that. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game. I don't know how to get out of this position now. <laughs> I'm here, but I tore an ACL on the way up. Just for the record, I chose this misery when I played this game. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead is now 24. Set to 
I don't know what to do. They send him an uh, Xbox message. My belly button and tell him it's my butthole. See if it freaks him out enough to give him a new win. I feel like I should play you again for an easy win. Ouch! And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Get some confidence going. Some Definitely need some. These people just fucking. They're like bees. I'm playing a bunch of fucking bees, right? Every time I do something, they swarm. It just doesn't look like things are in sync. Fucking out there. swarming I bees. With that and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass. See, if I didn't do that tremendous, tremendous catch right there, that was a pick. Surprising right now that my quarterback's confidence isn't so shattered that my whole line's confidence is completely garbage. These fucking slugs need to get out there. Give me a touchdown. A Just hold your blocks, damn it. Starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe. A yeah, nothing but green grass here. No, Middle of the field. Touchdown, LA. That was almost not a touchdown. I almost went out of bounds. Five yards. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate. Play. That would be a third game. I crushed the first game. First game was against the guy who was the Niners, and I beat him bad. I gave him a little bit of hope just for the stream. You know, we had to create some drama. We look at your fastest guy and say, go long. I just need like 12 to 15 more seconds per play. Fucking kill him! God damn it. I'll do the Bears next. But once I pick the Bears, then I'll play the Bills. And the guy's just going to throw it over me with Stephon Diggs every single play. See, I have positioned the linebacker and then positioned the other linebacker and they just all got piled up. Piled up. Like a fucking... Silly putty parade over here. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you guys all just jamming together playing the cookie game over there? Thinking it's going to do anything good. We pay you so many virtual dollars. Oh my god, he's insane. He's a god. He's a god. He cannot be stopped. I hate him so much. It's hot in here. Is it hot in here? Is it just is anyone else hot in here? It's a sweat factory. That's probably it. The heat's getting my playing ability. Better have a couple of drinks in this cold one. Or like 34. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Single back, how about? How the hell do I get to single back? Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now it's Stafford. That is not who I wanted to throw to. I thought B was RB. 
I have my buttons flipped. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. That's what we need. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They're looking at second down now. No, I don't want to do this play. Let's keep happening. To throw once more on second and ten. Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. Depending on the safeties, I can do this all day. I can do this crossing play. All day, so long as he keeps doing the single back safety. He has the two safeties, I can do the one where he comes out and across, and 90% of the time it's an open touchdown. Or at least a big play. His two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points, but he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down. With this the other thing that's super RNG is fucking kicks. To give them a chance. Now they're down big here Depending on where it goes, there's no accurate way to do it. And if you even look up how people do it online, nothing else. Now no one has a one-dimensional answer on how to do it. Oh, like, oh, this works like uh, 60, like 90 percent of the time. And then if you watch people who don't know how to edit, they'll do it like 12 times against the computer in practice before they uh, ever get it to work. Still throwing the football so, here, and obviously the incompletion stops the, the onside kick is also bullshit. Like they're, on there used to be like a guaranteed onside kick about five, six minutes ago, where you do like a regular kickoff and you press uh, B or circle in instead. Of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Kale, thank you very much. Appreciate you. 100%. Cheers. Inside the 20. On play action, Heineke. Forced out to his left. Looking left side, he's got him in. That Sims. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Cam Sims. This is why people commit violence. And Washington going to add on. Particularly to controllers. Controllers like these, the ones that are invisible with a small little light in the middle and a black thing right here and a black thing right here. I mean, that seems to be invisible. Oh, it is. Look at that. Um, violence against controllers is caused by Madden games. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. I'm convinced. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So nice of him to score another touchdown so fast so that I have time to score another one. begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Let's just be frank, they're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Fucking not that shit away. All right. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because... There are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 seconds to so go. So he's going to have to make a choice. There it is. Desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. Will signal for a timeout there. Force him, force him to do so. Stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Stafford on first down. And he's got it. That's Cup for a round two. Where was this shit earlier? Cooper Cup there to make the grab. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> you gotta figure out one way to get our streams, uh, uh, games on stream. Simple solution. No! I was so close. Simple solution. You just gotta come over.
Anything can be done from inside the studio here. You just need to not work every day of your life. You're like Ryan Montgomery. Always working. They go play action. Now Heineke. Escaping the pressure right. This is That's not even the guy he threw to. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Give me that shit. Able to get there and pick it. And the Rams are gonna get the football here as the ball will come out to the twist. Here's where that comeback really starts, ladies and gentlemen. With nine seconds left. Anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback. You're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. That'll be caught. It's caught. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. That's good for an LA Rams. One last throw here for Stanford. My guy's got jammed up and I got fucking sick. Oh, I got a second? Thank God. I'm going to go get more drinks. Heavier drinks. Stronger drinks. Bigger drinks. Cheers, dear. <laughs> Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
Don't worry, Ram fam, I'm back. Look, at, he was significantly worse than me at quarterback. All I'm saying. All I'm saying. The same completion percentage. In fact, mine was better. But I was significantly better than everything else. All right, let's go. You want to play Versus, PS5? Uh, I am Xbox, but good news. When the new Madden comes out in, what, like two months, three months? We'll be able to play uh, cross-platform, which is going to be sick. Otherwise, I'm sure you would just dominate me after uh, my last performance there. Now, how are you doing, Ra? It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago. Is as he the in? It's the popping in. From their tunnel, ready for football, are they? And ready for football. Maybe Madden needs a hard mode. It does. It's called all Madden. It's not too bad. So Colts are going to be slightly better, but I think I can handle them. Just hike the damn ball. These fake audibles. Oh, they were real. Okay, so he's gonna target Taylor all game, is what I'm basically saying. William Harris, let's go on. Guess who got the Lego Star Wars collection today? If I had to guess, I'd guess Ryan Montgomery got it. Duke Coughlin, what's going on? You can catch these hands in Madden anytime. I am down to clown if you're on Xbox. Which I think you are, aren't you? This is drinking, man, though, Duke, so you'd, you'd have to have a drink. And I know, being a sober person, that that's just not something you could do. So it's really too bad. Um, simple game, drink per point, you know. And if anyone uh, is enjoying the Friday, doesn't work tomorrow, having some drinks along with us, um, every point I get, you drink for at home. Every time I get scored on, I drink. Oh, God. I knew he was going to outrun me. Sorry, I keep popping in as well. It's not hockey. Hockey? I'll admit hockey's somewhat entertaining. I've been to a few games. And uh, I mostly just watch the fights. You got hockey notes on Game Pass? Uh, I have only played small tidbits of Shell, which one of my buddies have called it for short, NHL Shell. Um, and I always get smashed. So I do not play NHL. That would be just me screaming at the camera the whole time. Which essentially is what's happening now. But I at least won one game. One for one. Come on, you fucking slug, Eddie Jackson. He's hot garbage. Get him off the team! 
first and ten, Taylor now. Yes, sir. I have some pink Whitney in my freezer. What is pink Whitney? Why is it in your freezer? I have ideas, but I can't save them on streaks. because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation. Oh, come on! Fucking holy tree. Jonathan Taylor, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Colts take it right down and score. All right, all right, I'll do my six drinks after he scores. Uh! Cheers, everybody. My blanket ship is up and good, and it's now a 7 nothing game. My skill will start to drop off. It's going to keep going up for a little bit. You know, it's called uh, buzz skill. The more buzzed you get, the better you get. And then you plateau, and then there's a sharp drop. So I don't believe I've hit that peak yet, but... We're getting close. Duke, so you are on Xbox as well, so we could potentially play live here on stream. And I could show everyone here what uh, it's like when Duke versus the Ram happens, which has never happened before. I have no idea what happened. He might be my ass. He's a sports writer. He's, this is what he does. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive. And Fuck Nuggets. I should have thrown the wide. He was wide open. I had in my brain already said I was going to run the ball. That was dumb. Willem, you want to play Chell? Hey, you know it. You even spelled it right. There you go. You like three people, though, don't you? Um. Fields. You can do one on one. You can do two v twos. I, I don't know online. We can probably do three v threes online. Um, all I'm good at is getting penalties in that game, though. Like really good at it. I high stick the fuck out of people. All I know is you press A to like poke check, and then I just trip people or there's the one where you get slashing and I don't know what I'm doing. Do Coughlin pink lemonade vodka? It's actually elite as shots. Fuck yeah. I am on next gen actually. Um, I technically have both. I don't have both downloaded. I accidentally didn't buy the next gen one first and then they're considered two different games because EA is a bunch of fuckboys. You don't just get both. Alright, that's some hot guard. We're not taking that one sitting down. Alright, alright. What? 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 Alright. Did anyone watch that? Did anyone watch number 12? So he has a slant route, right? Let me paint a picture for you. He goes up and he goes out. Look at look at this dumb son of a bitch. And he sees the other guy coming. Oh no, I know where I can tell. He backs up. That is not what a slant route is. You keep going and you don't go back. What is It's okay. I'm allowing him to get ahead because I'm such a higher skilled player that it's only fair that God damn it, what just happened? Broken tackle. Um, that I allow him to get at. So these things happen. These things happen. It's um, RNG, uh, which is, means random number generator uh, in programming language, uh, and it's somehow came into the gaming atmosphere. And basically, uh, the game rolled a one out of ten. Um, one through nine, I caught the ball. Ten, my guy backs off like an absolute fucking donkey muffin. And, uh, yeah, and I got the ten. He's Allen Robinson. He, Allen fucking Robinson. He's supposed to be, you know, he's shit. That's all I got to say. I'm about to get scored on again because it's only fair. Uh, I think down two touchdowns with only a half to come back is the right way to play. 
Otherwise, how do you get any drama? There's no drama if I uh, don't piss the game away. William Harris, I just beat up people to be fair. <laughs> it's all you do with hockey. I, uh... I remember hockey on PS1 and we literally just hunted the refs. Someone would say something along the lines of like, hey, Mr. Refi, and we would come in, both teams, we'd be one-on-one, -on -one, and both just smash the referee at the same time. Because you could back then, PS1 was brutal. They'll try and run, Taylor. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's I don't think you can hit referees anymore. I think they just skate out of the way, kind of, and they're just always shifting around you, just like in Madden, but... I'm taking the three points, and I'm just relying on my defense here. Show me I have a little confidence in them, and let the offense know. Nice try. Come back next time. We'll go get six then, but for now, we'll take the three. Wentz gonna go on fourth down. No, I knew it! I tried to get there, but I had... Touchdown. Slug ass Goldman. He literally is only targeting one fucking guy the whole game. Okay. I got this. I figured him out. I've cracked the code. The puzzle is complete. Let's put it together. Oh shit. Now he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. We're bringing back the Bourbon Lord from my Elden Ring days. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception, but they did put... And he can't find a receiver, and he's... Someone down. block! It Good Lord. Like right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. What are these playbooks? Do we scoop this out of the dumpster? My playbook is like a connect the dots coloring book that you would give to your children. It's second and 21. Now Fields. Under pressure, they got him again. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Someone is getting whooping. You mean him in the second half? Final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Fuck! I only have one more f bomb by FCC regulations, so I better use it wisely. Just kidding, they don't regulate this shit. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll What? <laughs> Certainly no lack of aggressive. He's why I the wall is right. If you hand your arms out all the way, the ball was right here. He's just like oh, didn't catch it. Once again, I still suck. Fuck you, good win. Ah oh, shit, that was my last F bomb. Now he knows my play. Do Coughlin and may not have. Uh, I'm still going to. I'd still play. I'll still play. I was about to say we might not be playing, but uh, I'll still play. These two teams currently going over their final halftime adjustments. We are just about set to get back to it in the second half. And for the call, let's go back to Soldier Field and Brandon God. I do have another challenger who I messaged earlier. Says he's on the way home right now. Set and ready to rock for the third quarter. I just pick the Lions and keep it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 
The Bears going to see the football Hell first, yeah. and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. Shooting your gamer tech? At the line, prep right there. The next drive the Bears offense. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, Black space Rams scores, place GX. Basically the same thing as the channel minus the gaming. But for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Back to the ground. This time Montgomery. And tough going there as he'll You know, if Montgomery in the game was like he is in real life. Desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Fields. And that will be incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation. This is why I don't play as the Bears very often. Is you get these wide open motherfuckers. Still off target throws. No rhythm throwing the football. And obviously, no touchdown scored in this game. And they just let the damn ball sail right past them. Now the offense failed earlier on the previous crack at this, but they're going again on fourth down. And they are going for it. Fields. And he's of course! Of course, I started running straight because this man is being blocked by two people. Two people. I start to run forward, breaks to insulin. Like 99 is Aaron fucking Donald, but he ain't. First down. It's Taylor. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. I was getting a whooping earlier, now I'm getting whipped. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second down, another run with Taylor. And a short gain here down to the 22. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball is even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. This is a joke. Touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Colts are able you telling to me fucking lead. Doyle? Mr. Old Doyle Wolves just walked in there. Tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. They're a terrible team. They're a terrible team, and they're gonna be worse this year. Ryan, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Drinking for some points. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Appreciate you, buddy. Gonna score a touchdown here for Brian. Well, the return from his end zone is All I needed was likes motivation. Hopefully you didn't think that I was the Colts. Otherwise, this is embarrassing. Dude, yeesh. Ryan, that's what it looks like. That's what I want it to look like. Here's that's the thing. That's the thing. Bears offense ready You to see me being absolutely dominated. What I want you to see is that so that way I can show you holy fuck they've got to make amends and how many times have we sat in meetings um, and they use the term the comeback football. <laughs> offense take care of the defense defense take as I do the, the same three plays <laughs> you're the Colts right I am the Colts I'm definitely not picking offensive plays right now I mean that was really good of my defense and it's going to bring up a third down Getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Here we go. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle, looking at each other. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Darnell Moody was ahead of that guy by like four yards. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off. Whose shoes he wearing? Is he wearing the sandals of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? Is that why he just had the leaping ability of several gods? Is that why he moved faster than the light of a thousand suns? I'm just wondering. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there, but guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. From the 29, Wentz. <laughs> Sorry, he's uh. When you look at the scoreboard, you think they'd be pretty comfortable right now. Fucking this lead, but these snail muffin. Absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. Khalil Mack. Just go to the Chargers. Ah. Uh, you gotta fumble that, right? I mean, that dude thinks he's on Mars right now after he took that hit. How's he holding on to the ball? Even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter, I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Take it in by the no, 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 no. And he's brought down. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already. This guy hurt him, though. I'm going to jump to get hurt around the line. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. And he is met Ooh, at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. I pressed There's a lot of buttons there. It was just spamming. And it'll be second and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach he's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing and as a player that means an awful lot escaping the pressure and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown Carson this is Wentz it all went wrong fine work there on the touchdown Wentz run. Pun. and the Colts use the short field of their advantage this became uh, this went for me they're gonna try and run Dominating the first guy to me just drinking a lot because I had to keep getting scored on too. Short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. I regret this drinking game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time. That's oh, my guys, wacky inflatable flailing arm two men? Is that why they can't catch anything? Because it just goes through their flailing, wacky inflatable flailing arms? come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. I mean, so it doesn't matter if you're in front and you box him out, still lose. Backwards. This is just something else. I'm trying to drink as much as I possibly can this game, it feels like. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. I'm going to drink for that turnover, but I'm not happy about it. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Look at that. Look at that. Dude's out there in ice skates, slips, and still catches the ball. My guys are wide open, standing right in front of the ball. You want to play just watch it go right past. And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Nine yards is the Jonathan Taylor doesn't even have like exceptional yards. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll go down at the 28. Second and one is often right, my goal here, my only goal is to not field. score once. I bet the offensive lineman said, Are you kidding? We just get on the and let's go get the first down. Score as they much as possible. 
Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. I want to be so far from sober when I take on Duke. They'll try and run and some critical deuce. Keep it on the ground. And nothing much materializing that it's just uh round. he'll get a couple and that's it. Too easy, too easy for me. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the certainly feels like Matt Nagy's Bears. This is a Matt Nagy play call right here. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. On second down, it's Taylor. And he will get into the Matt Nagy. I can't believe it didn't work. How did they run around the field goal block? Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy. I've been there. Oh, thank you. I think I think most Madden players have, except for the 365 players. Carry it with them from week to week and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. The religious players, you know. The return from his end zone is Grant. That ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. He should have kicked it. Should I punt it back to him? The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. They're getting shellacked. If you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this. For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. Don't forget what can't catch the ball. I give up. Can't catch the ball. Really? Let's see if you can score again. I'm not punting it though. I'm not straight up giving it to him. Guess this guy can't catch either. That is obviously no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, a tough day for this offense. I have a few more drinks to do, Chiefs. One of their best chances to get on the scoreboard there couldn't do it. Yeah, it's not looking like it's going to happen for him. Really, for me, if he stays under 50 points, it's a victory. Play after play has gone against him the entire game. You've got to love it, I mean, if he gets over 50. Again, yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. You have fun with this one, partner. I am. Mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like, and he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away. Right. Following the Do you touchdown. think if I get on the ball back immediately? He can do this. Now to return. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive. The Bears oh, Austin, offense. sorry, I didn't see your, uh, your message there. Man can be tough online. Don't get it. Don't let it get to you. Terrible man as well. Interceptions get me mad as well. I'm holding X. I know, I know. I know what you mean. It's, uh... This game is probably the most frustrating game there is to play. Like, unless you played Madden. Um, you don't know. I should have... If I didn't want to throw an interception, I would have thrown him short. But I want to. I'm trying to make sure he gets more than 50 points on him. It's the honest man's thing to do. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. He almost didn't score there if I didn't get out of the way. You want to bet that this guy sends me a message afterwards and calls me trash after I give him points for free? Even though I gave him points for free. We're going to anyway. give you everything we've got, 
If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that. Taking to pity on you. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, the return from his end zone is Grant. Probably, yeah. I, I don't know. There's I, any other game I've ever played. Doesn't really make me mad if I lose or anything, but Madden is the one game, it's a little in the name, that will make me be extremely upset. And that's because there's so much that's not your fault. Like how that went directly to that guy. Um, there's no button you can press that throws it directly to a specific defender. But, but the game will force throws to specific people. I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point. That he's wrapped up. Taken down. Dude, bro, I uh, stream multiple Madden. It's I stream Madden multiple times a week during football season, and I still rage hard and have games like this. It's yeah, it sucks. Like really well, the thing is, is this fucking the stupid the shit momentum meter. Because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. Did you take a big step? Oh, thank God. Oh, we did it, everyone. We got him to 50 points. Cheers. The three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. So this one winds up in Indian. It happens. Victory. Um, you have good you ones, what, you have bad Charles, ones. It really, there's as it gets. They were incredible. the randomness the of men, the as every men player knows. I, I mean, you could be well, god tier, and your well. offensive they line will never pull that block. Your receivers will never get open, never catch the ball. Um, your quarterback just won't throw accurately, no matter what. There might be nothing wrong. Might not have been a back shoulder, might not have been off the back foot, might not have been under pressure. There could be nothing wrong, and they'll just miss. Um, even with some of the best players. Uh, so it's really frustrating game because you could do nothing wrong. Not that I haven't done anything wrong. I definitely have the last two games. Um, but it, it doesn't take much for the game to just slip away from you. Um, but since I did just drink 50 drinks, one for each point, I do have to go to the bathroom. Give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Will not take long. All right, we got five people, three of them left, thank God. That was not as many people to embarrass myself in front of. Just kidding, there'll be more. Duke Coughlin, are we playing or what? I do have somebody else. Uh, is it from this guy? Good game, not a quitter. <laughs> I can't quit in front of the stream. If I was by myself, I would have quit instantly. This man's on right here. There he is. That's actually what he looks like, by the way. I know him in real life. That is his actual picture. You might be surprised, but... Microsoft Store, why?
All right, Dookie, I got you here. Don't know if you like to be called Dookie. I thoroughly apologize. That is not the right way to do this. Standard rules. Let me message competitor number two and let him know. Three random teams? Do you want to do three randoms? So I got I got football team, Chiefs, Falcons. Do your three randoms. Tell me what you get. I'm on uh, Series X. You got Niners? Niners, Hawks, Colts. You pick one, and I will pick one to be somewhat close to your overall. Who did I get again? Chiefs. Falcons, I forget what the first one was. Oh, and football team. I'll do football team, you pick one of your 81s. Only one one point difference. It's probably the closest to. Ah, good enough. I hate them. I hate the Chiefs, uh, the Colts. Seahawks? Okay. Whew. Thank you, brother. I can't face the Colts again. All right, no, no cheating. The sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital in FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the Seattle Seahawks. out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Hold on. I need to get the right the wrong music has been playing the whole time. That's the problem. It's part of the problem. Why have I not been playing Doja Cat this whole time? I'm just kidding. I'm not playing Doja Cat. About to get dangerous. I'll flip the phone. Austin, you are too. Austin, I'm trying to remember. I'm thinking I haven't seen you in a long time, but you've been here before, right? Right, you're a follower. Um, you used to come around when we played Madden a lot, right? I thought, do, do we play once, even? I'm trying to remember. I thought we played once, and you had been drinking a little bit. <laughs> and uh, I got you good that day, but I, I was... Stone Cold sober. Well, not Stone Cold. You should have a few. Alright, Dookie. Um, just tell me if you don't want me to call you that with a Y on the end. Um, the turnover's a drink, and um, points given up is a drink. So uh, that's one for you. Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. Yeah. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. I'm like covering up After my place. Like split screen left. back in the day. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick just retired today. If anyone didn't know that, that's a football fan. Oh, on the Resident Evil stream. Okay, okay. On six? Dang. On Resident Evil 6 of all games. You know what? I had a surprising amount of people come in on Resident Evil 6. Considering I thought it was one of the, uh, in my opinion, the worst Resident Evil that they ever made. Um, 
for the mainstay games anyway. They're indeed going. It's Fitzpatrick. Flushed out right. Oh, Fitzmagic, and he didn't fumble. And that was my one run. I can never run with him again. That's, that's it. That's it. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Scary Terry. Does anyone know what happened to Scary Terry McLaurin? Because he just uh, was doing like a, I'm not showing up until I get a new contract thing, and he just kind of was forgotten about. Have you heard about the Resident Evil 4 remake? I'm excited. I actually um, shared the video on my stream this morning. It was the first thing I, I saw. I woke up. I saw the Facebook notifications. I opened it up. And the first thing I had there was the Resident Evil 4 remake um, trailer. And I was super pumped. Shared it immediately. I am beyond excited for it, dude. It looks amazing. I mean, we've all kind of known for a while that they've been working on it. And that's what they were going to do. And like 8 being similar to 4 was like that like precursor to getting people excited for it getting maybe newer fans into that style it's my first touchdown in like 40 minutes you play on the Oculus 2 and it's amazing? Uh, hell yeah. Dude, I, uh, so if you haven't been in the stream for a while or if it's your first time here, um, donating stars is something you can do through Facebook that helps you um, support the stream. Everything I make on the stream goes back into the stream. And... The uh, last thing the stream helped me do was buy an Oculus Rift 2, or Oculus Quest 2. Quest? Quest? Rift? I don't know. Anyway, the point is, the one that you can play Resident Evil 4. So, I do have that. Um, current Stars, if anyone donates, is towards you being able to tell me different types of VR games you want me to play. Um, and I put whatever money I get from that back into it. And we're going to be doing VR soon. And that's going to be one of the games I'm playing. Very excited for it. Because I have seen some videos and some trailers, excuse me, of that game. And it looks so good. So good. I want to play that one. I know people have already recommended, and I didn't want to play it, the Rick and Morty one. Uh, that looks hilarious. Hilarious. So very excited to do that one. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how to stream it. I have no idea how it works. I have not taken the time to do it. I have barely taken the time to play um, any of it myself, just to get even acclimated. So it's going to be... An experience when I do it live on screen. But it should be fun. I won't be disappointed. Hell yeah. So my question is, I'm curious, is it is the full game in VR? Like can they do everything that was in the real game in VR? Or like parts cut out? You could do worse than a four yard run on first down. Because there's like things like running away from the giant statue and a lot of up down vertical moments where you're going up and down ladders through like the not the clock tower but whatever it is where there's the little beams of wood that you need to knock out to get the gears rolling to open the bridge and um there's like the cart riding scenes and the mines like can you do all that? Because some of that seems like it would be nauseous, but I like I don't know if they included it all or if they cut some stuff out. Oh, 55. What are you doing, my man? 
when someone tackles people forward, that's enough. The only annoying thing is the cutscenes other than that, the full game and mercenaries. Oh, mercenaries! I didn't even think about that. That's probably legit. I can imagine mercenaries as a Wesker. Wilson. Under pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26 yard line. The DM Jonathan Allen making sure his presence is felt. He gets more intense as you go. Dude, I'm excited. I feel like as a Resident Evil uh, connoisseur and pro. That if there's like the normal and the advanced difficulties, I have to go. Uh, fuck me. I have to go advanced. I have to do the hardest. I know it's a different way to play, but like I, unless the game has major changes, I know what to expect. You know what I bet you is super intense. Probably one of the craziest moments in the game. Is gotta be when you and um, Lewis lock down that house and you're getting besieged the whole time. I bet you that is fucking insane in um, first person VR. You're getting attacked from all sides. It's one thing when you have a third person camera looking over your shoulders, but when you do not know what's behind you at all. That's another drink. To his right and to shift the Don't forget your seven instead, the for the, the points. Right Thank the you. I don't know if you're doing this on purpose, but thank you. Damn, that's a good boy. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another try after the first down sack. Fitzpatrick. That's caught. It's DeAndre Carter. And he's going to get this one across. Yeah, he's normal. Then he can play on professional. That cabin is where it starts getting tense. On a minute to play <laughs> in this first <laughs> half. Fitzpatrick on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I'm excited for the cabin. Um, unfortunately, they have to beat it on normal first, but should be fun. To throw again on second down, Fitzpatrick a hit as he throws there incomplete. A lot of times, just that first read that you had, maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked it on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. On third down, Fitzpatrick. Okay, that's not a really good screen. He got stuck on the left tackle who wasn't pulling for, I don't know, an hour there? As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. I don't care where we're at. We're not we're not a fucking bunch of quitters. Just because I'm getting sacked on every play. Austin, do you have any other um, VR games that you know of that you have played that you really enjoyed? So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a he was supposed to continue going straight, not come in. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Skyrim VR, 100% my favorite. Ooh, I forgot that's a thing. That looks sick. I saw Hitman 3. It was VR. You ever tried that? As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Six yards left on second down. They go play action with Wilson. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. TK Metcalf is so fast. Duke, that was a scary play. As a former defender, I can feel their side. Look at that to me again. 
When he breaks out of the pocket and you face a mobile quarterback, he causes all kind of problems in your secondary. They were able to force that incompletion. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Wilson. Flush to his right. Shit, can't protect everybody. And he had four people open. Sadly, no, he ever tried that. Ah, okay. Another 13 yards there. No bigs, no bigs. And they're on the move. Another first down as well. Second and 10. Here's Wilson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And of course, it's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. Now, I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as He's not going to do anything in the second half. But yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive. To I have time out. Take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. Myers' kick is good. And that will do it. For this I drank for the points during the kick, Dookie. The That's just because uh, I had no doubts you were going to make it. If you missed it, I would have wasted this. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. This is a little scoring game I played. So, so Washington far. in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. Schmerdish Schmanuel. Out there set ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Three yards the game there, second down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback away. Scary Terry! Right along the sideline, what a job of keeping the toes in bounds. Whoa. A huge play there for Washington. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of a years. The arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, Did anyone no, believe really nice that Ryan Fitzpatrick was going to run with that ball? And not allowing any lanes no. to open up. That's why it was a rift shovel nine, pass. I've never seen where the running back was inside. Here's Fitzpatrick. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's taken a while because I know it looked like I'm donkey ass the first two games, and I probably now. still look a like nice donkey ass, there, but and they're really putting together. I swear I'm not the worst. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second. Still somewhat competently able to play this game. I don't know if Duke's just throwing me a bone here, and I. If you are thinking. McKissick again on second down, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. JD McKissick, a nine-yard touchdown run, and Washington is able to stretch their lead. Duke, cheers. Point by Sly is up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. We're back. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Children outside don't know what they're doing. Monsters, all of them. Heathens. Just kidding. They are the loud. Here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. 
And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. Throw everyone at him. That was the Just throw more people. That's all I did. do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads into bigger errors. On first down, Wilson. Oh, Allen, you slug fuck. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Awesome. Same question, though, about Skyrim. If you're still in here. Um, that I had about Resident Evil. Is Skyrim the full game? Or is there, like, huge chunks left out? Because... Like the first time I played Skyrim, I played it for a month straight back in high school. Like 30 days of like serious gaming. Um, that and Skyrim VR would be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target. Sure is. Good. Oh, shit. Dude. I always played as an archer. I feel like that would be insane. I, I've not seen any footage of VR Skyrim. And I feel like it would be hard not to like just easily dominate everybody. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Damn, dude. That was spicy. That was spicy. I thought I had you because I was close enough. And that wasn't like particularly a high pass. It was a fucking dart. It was just perfect. Jason no. Myers now. That was that was a god tier pass. Cheers. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now fourteen to ten. Mm. Awesome. I'm just seeing here. It's very fun with magic or archery. Ooh, I was always the sneaky archery. Fallout, I play the same way. By the way, if you haven't seen the Fallout trailer, it looks amazing. This new Fallout game coming on centered in London. Be the first one out of the United States. From his end zone, here comes Carter. Um, and that looks super cool. Um, my first playthrough of Fallout 3 ever, which is my first Fallout, I used laser weapons because I was like, oh, that's the most OP shit there is. And it really is. It's insane. After that, my every playthrough after is snipers and regular bullets. I just hide way back there and I snipe people from a mile away. And that's how I play. In my Skyrim and Oblivion playthroughs, I've always been sneak and just snipe people in the head with archery from far away. And it's probably the most OP way to play. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are going to take the session here. And they're on 47 yard line. Because the sneak damage always has multipliers. So it's just insane. Um, that's what I'd probably do again. The second it was leaving his hand. For the interception, here's Wilson, rolling to his right, and he's able to take it across midfield. Oh, New Vegas is always going to be my favorite, and archery is very OP in Skyrim, very much. Um, How about a tip of the cap to the defense? Fallout New Vegas was badass. Uh, I liked aspects of four, but it's still bottom of my list. I loved the building your own base a lot, it, but it's still bottom tier. Uh, I go. Probably Vegas 3 4. All right, Duke, I need a second. I'll be right back.
Thank you, Duke, for listening. I didn't, wasn't sure if you could hear me. Appreciate you. Uh, I'm back. I'm good to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Austin, real question. Skyrim or Oblivion? Or Morrowind. I will allow Morrowind, although I think you're a fool if you pick Morrowind. The only reason I wouldn't pick Morrowind is because I didn't grow up with it. I played it long after Oblivion and Skyrim, so trying to go back, it was just terrible. Hard to play. Hard to look at. Like, I get it if you grew up with it and it was your first. That's your favorite. Most Morrowind players say that. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like... But uh, once I go forward in the game graphically and mechanically, it's hard for me to go back. Unless it's a game that I have played and has nostalgic value. They run it with Carson. Oh, he pulls over him. Skyrim is beyond my favorite. Oblivion is a very good game as well. I think I liked Oblivion better. I mean, Skyrim's amazing. It's really hard to contest the two. Um, I liked the Oblivion gates and, like, hell invading and basically having to um, close shut the jaws of Oblivion. Um, the Empire being under attack. The Emperor being assassinated from the start. Sorry if that's a spoiler alert. You've had about... 15 20 years to play the game um you know going through all these oblivion portals and shutting them with demons on the other side seeing cities completely ransacked by demons i mean i did not mean to be that man uh i mean so many great things about it skyrim with the dragons invading and being back and all that was super cool um all the updates made it great like I remember the update where you could call dragons and then ride them in Skyrim, and that was super cool. I, by the way, is that something you can do in VR? No? Can you, can you, can you ride them? That sounds sick as fuck. Being a vampire stuff in Oblivion. It was really tough in Oblivion. You literally could not be outside in the day, otherwise you would die so fast. I remember because it was one of the first things I did. I thought it'd be cool. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in the tight one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's McKissick. And he'll maneuver his way forward for but, uh, I love this game's overall. Anyway, I think I was going to start saying this earlier, and I was going to say, uh, I just noticed on your picture here, it shows up in the chat, that you have the chief symbol on you. What did you think, since we're playing football here, about the Tyreek Hill trade? Were you upset by it? Did you think it was a good move? Um, were you happy to be rid of the scumbag? Uh, what were your thoughts? Fitzpatrick throwing complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Fitzpatrick. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit does it lead to another one or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again a little jet sweep to start the drive and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 So we see Hawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. It's Carson, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
But he picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation... I think my favorite DLC of all the games is the Oblivion one. Right this in all probability um, the game was complete by the time I discovered it. That was the first Elden, Elder Scrolls. It's like Elden, we played Elden Ring too long. Um, I forget what it was called, but it was, um, had the mad god, you go to his world, and everything's crazy and weird. There was the giant gate guardian with the hook claw arm. You had to pass you to even get to that world. I remember so little about it because it's been so long since I played it. I think Oblivion would be a fantastic VR game as well, considering how good uh, Resident Evil 4 apparently is done. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. So, um, that was probably my favorite game scene. Actually, the Chiefs fans were upset about it. But the Dolphins quarterback would feel like won't be able to get it to as easy as Mahomes. Yeah, likely not, but... Likely not. However, I will say this. Tyree Kill is a unique player where he's extremely fast and can make a 100-yard play out of a 2-yard pass. So, so long as Tyree Kill can get open in 2 yards, and Tua can just barely huck it over the line and get it to him, uh, I think he could... Potentially still do great. Um, how many good years of Tyree Kill is there left? That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. All right, Dookie, you win. Yeah, I mean the first half. Not gonna lie, I thought you were throwing to be honest. So the victory here for Seattle. All right, my next competitor so here is Critical Deuce, a.k.a. Next Germany. person to get an easy win game, off of me. No uh, <laughs> no but good game, dude. Good game. So this is one you don't have now that I've got you added, we'll have to uh, do some more. If you've ever seen me on, sometimes I just fuck around on this uh, when I'm off stream for a game. Because I'm, I'm not able to play as long. I might play a game or two or something. And so I might play this uh, on the weekend. You move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one. I'll send you a video for my receipts. Hilarious. For drinks. Uh -oh. Well, hello, good hello, sir. Hello, Anson. And GG to you, Duke. Um, damn, I really thought I was gonna come back on you. That last pick, you got me though. Sixty-nine percent completion. Cheers. I'll give you that. That was good. The quality was unacceptable. <laughs> Quentin. AKA Critical Deuce. Hi, Anson. How are you? Terrible. Um, let's play. Let's do it. Just so you know, I've never lost. I've heard that. Although it sounds like you may have lost for the first time in your last game. Well, that game and like the three games before that. TJ, thank you for that like, by the way. Hell yeah. I got a cheers right here for you. I forgot I can get you drunk. I'm doing a drink per point. I don't know if I drink for all of Duke's points. I might owe you some. I'll match you, buddy. Up to 12 likes. We're doing pretty good. Anyone out there want to throw out likes? Please do. Um. But yeah. Awesome. True, but Kansas City is very good at finding talented players. Yeah, dude, your drafting department is unreal. And I think you guys might have some replacements. Uh, your coach is one of the top three or f top five maybe to ever coach. So hard to say that it won't be uh, hard to just continue on. Quentin, thank you for that like. Cheers. Absolutely. Sorry I'm late. No problem. No problem. It happens. Um, three randoms? Sure. I got Colts, Jags, Raiders. Fuck me. Are we doing vetoes? Are we doing a veto? Or are you just going to pick? J just pick, yeah. Okay. Rams, Bucks, Dolphins. Veto every pick you have. <laughs> yeah. Switch. I, I, I uh, bring it back. 
Uh, who did I have? I had some pretty shit teams. Uh, Colts. Colts. Uh, Raiders. No, Panthers? Did I have the, was the Panthers the other one? Could have been, yeah. I, I don't know what's off. You gonna do Panthers, Dolphins? <laughs> I mean, no, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Alright, color rush only. <laughs> what's the Dolphins? Oh, color rush white? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh boy, Fantastic. you shouldn't have answered. All right, defend the short pass. It's the farthest he can throw. <laughs> yeah. We were just discussing this because Austin's uh, Chiefs fan. And I was saying what he I asked him what he thought about Hill getting traded. He said most uh, Chiefs fans are pretty pissed about it and don't feel like two is going to do much. With it, which I don't think he will either. Sorry, oh, yeah. Duke. I just uh, let me catch up. Here. Anytime you want to play better. <laughs> I'll even hop on the Jefferson Panther if you want. I am a football guy after all. For sure, for sure. We'll have to do that next time. I also play Battlefield 5 and the show. I do not play either. Battlefield 5. Didn't it die like instantly? So the player base like dive. And I'm just not good at any other sports game that I'm your face. I'm not good at any sports game. Um I was about to say other than Madden 21. Like, I don't know. You guys have been watching. Um, <laughs> so, like, uh, William Harrison was, he was in earlier. He's like, uh, hey, do you play NHL? You should play NHL. I've never won a game of NHL, and I've played 200 games. <laughs> I was going to say same, but I have not. I don't know if I've played 200, and I've won probably like five, but uh, that's when I had a teammate. Like two on two is where my teammate was got to. Because he's just like the color of the sun. He's I didn't frozen. See him there. <laughs> His mouth was moving and he's frozen. <laughs> and this is the guy who picked me up with the leaping power of a thousand suns. <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. This has been happening to me all day. Sorry, Nancy. No, it's all right. It's all right. I forgot that the dolphins are one of those playbooks that doesn't have high formation. I feel like. You ever seen how the Amish churn butter? I feel like uh, I this whole game has been me doing that with my butt. <laughs> that's all that's happened with me playing. <laughs> me playing mad. Amazing. Oh my god. Butt churning. Butt churning butter. Butt leveled out here. <laughs> Seven drinks? Well, six drinks. Sweet. I might miss this. I mean, drink seven. Jesus. Austin Battlefield 5 is awesome. I mean, the trailer looked great and everything. I didn't play. The, um, definitely I missed think, it. <laughs> son of a bitch, I wasted a drink. I think it's Battlefield 2042. Oh, sure. I'll not touch that game. The community stays on 5. Been playing BF5 since we, uh, Battlefield since 360. I've been playing Battlefield since BF3. BF3 was savage. Battlefield 5 did look interesting. It had a lot of issues at the beginning, but that's the one that had like the burning fire uh, battle way out, right? Like, like there was a ring of fire around you that was burning it, which I think is the coolest way and uh, most inventive way. Yeah, that's awesome. A battlefield or a battle way out has been done. That zone was just like this mechanical zone, or I guess war zones gas. But I think the fire burning you in is super cool. Battlefield 4 was very close to Battlefield 3. Um, so I like to... Come on, Sammy! Yeah, look up, camera guys. Scoot, scoot. scoot. Alright. How do I not throw the ball once? Because that's the only way I can win. 
Perhaps with a 99 over all running back. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be pick city. God, I have not had an offensive line that can hold shit all day. Like, am I doing something wrong by not throwing within the first moment I have the ball? Oh, it's just bro pressure mechanics are broken. And they just keep adding new mechanics instead of fixing the ones that they've already used. Right, like, I'm sitting here thinking. Did you see any of the... Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead. Did you see any of the details on the med? I saw somebody do like a top 10 minutes. things that are changing, but most of them are like, they might add a Not different much. play in. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> That's pretty oh, much okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> right? Oh, he's going to house it. Oh, oh, thank God. No one covered him at all. Um, I did see that in franchise they were finally going to do different teams that you can move your team to after like six yep. or seven years. That was like about time. It's not neat, it's not cool, it's like you finally did something to that. Uh, <laughs> yep. There's so many aspects of the game they just leave unattended from year to year. Um, there's a bunch of ultimate team jargon I don't care about. Uh, yep. And there was more. There was some other cool things that I don't remember. There was not much more, actually. It's oh, much. They, they added... Um, Bad no, it's okay. I've had a drink it's about 200 drinks since the start of this. <laughs> hell yeah. Catching you just no. at the right time. Not hell yeah. <laughs> they added a uh, something called suck. field sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's basically... A oh shit! I saw. Were they adding in? Um, they were adding in dual tackles where you run into each other and then yep. you have to spam the button to see who wins, which yep. nobody ever liked. It's going to be. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be so broken because they are allowing defenders to come in and strip, like increase your fumble chance. Nice job. Jesus. And you, the only way to counter it is to cover the ball, which then gives up the tackle. So, like, everyone's just going to do stand-up tackles all the time because it's a guaranteed tackle or fumble. <laughs> yep. Um, like, I did see they How? <laughs> were changing the system to a momentum-based tackle instead of animation-based. So yeah. I can only which imagine... that could be cool. It could be cool, but I'm imagining just more fucked-up shit happening. Like, you know how it's yeah, already messed too. up where I, I see people yeah. tackle and their arms are wrapped around people like this and they have the ball still and they just run it back and you're like, how, how did you touch yep. your spine with the back of your head and you still are holding on to that ball? <laughs> but they do. They do. Um, this is the wildest thing. <laughs> so I just see more of that happening. More like super yeah, broken things. Um, hopefully warp tackling doesn't come back. If anyone that has ever played older Maddens, I haven't seen this one. Where, I, I, say you got a ball on the side, you're running it, and a linebacker's coming in, he's here, and then he literally disappears, and then he's here and he tackles you. Hopefully that doesn't come back, but it could. Yep. So third and five, Anything can happen. <laughs> If you dream it. Now Tua. Escaping the pressure right. Oh. Oh, late, I had no choice. Oh. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield. It was either let you go or three that time and then yep. bring up fourth down. Cover the man. Ooh, did I get myself? Oh. Uh oh. Ooh, better rethink that those plans. Things. Keep rethinking them. So taking a risk here early in the new year, they're gonna go for it. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. 
get there. Ah, nice job. Thank you. I think that might be my first interception I've had in at least 10 to 15 months. <laughs> Some of these celebrations are so fucking I'll dumb. For it. <laughs> You're just looking plain dead eyed. What are you doing? And coming away with the interception. Oh, now I'm stuck. Nice. Good call. 15 is a giant. Jesus Christ. Nice. If I knew Jolly Green was on the field. <laughs> something there to start this drive good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen and that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards yeah. he's the dual threat dual threat basket he's not so dark <laughs> so back when Kyle W and I used to play uh, man in high school I found a glitch on ultimate team where we could make our linebacker invisible online it was the most outrageous thing you could Force that to happen? Holy shit. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's okay, the rage messages for legendary. Oh, you're doing it online. That's amazing. I can imagine the kind of things uh, Kyle would send you. I knew him pretty well. Him and his brother were pretty good at talking shit <laughs> when they were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just, I just stopped. <laughs> That's all I did. It did not want to give me tackling initially. Hold something weird. Oh, did you get it? Nice. Duke, if you save those messages. I think you should just make a TikTok of the messages, like people do their text messages. And he'll try the air now with Darnold. Oh, nice job. Shit, Good play. Christian McCaffrey. Good play. I'm not using him enough. I forget how good he is, considering he's always injured. You know, the four games Christian McCaffrey plays a year, though, he's insane. <laughs> I don't think he's had a game he played in his entirety of where he didn't score like 20 fantasy points. <laughs> 20 plus, yeah. I know last year he yeah. had a couple 30 point games of your PPR, depending on your rules. Yep. But like. Oh! I don't know. Definitely a regretting number one overall pick, but at the same time, when he played, you're like. Ah. Did he get tackled by the back of my guy's heels? What happened? He sure did. <laughs> Dude, bro, I don't know if those they have... <laughs> What's that? They have six pistol formations. <laughs> six! <laughs> what do I do with this? <laughs> like, one's barely good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They replaced... All of their tight formations with just a whole bunch of pistol. <laughs> it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. thank goodness. <laughs> Honestly, pistol's not that bad, but... No. Duke used to find some wild people online. I don't think I've played very many people online that don't send messages. Like, 90%. Oh, good. Good A catch. Safe catch or whatever. Um, I feel like at least 50%, it's a super big coin flip of people online are going to either send you a message or um, either it's a good game, a fuck you, a haha you suck, um, you cheated, why don't you use a different play even though you only use the same play like three times. Um, I totally boxed you out. What? Luckily, I didn't get called on that. Oh. I got a message tonight, in fact, from a guy who beat me real bad and said, GG, at least you're not a quitter checkmark. <laughs> he gave me props for me allowing him to run the fucking score up on me. Nothing open down. 
unfortunately I can't put on stream. My girlfriend's <laughs> watching it all, she'll call me out so fast. If you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense. That's what she does. You've got to get it done oh. your offensive unit. Impressive. That was right. perfect. Three From distance, he Cheers. steps up, knocks it right down Cheers. Main Street. Yeah, Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? <laughs> I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. So, six seconds, all I that remains of this first half. I have yet to find a formation away. that's going to punish you for being so late in the box. From his end zone. For being late in the box? No, late. Oh, only having three down on it. Yeah, I. Uh, Which is smart. Because, survive. yeah. Why Surprise. would you come out of it if I'm gonna be in gun the entire time? <laughs> That's true. Straight true. I suppose you're not ready for this. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey down Break that tackle! Sorry. Uh, I got animated. My bad. I wasn't even looking downfield. I just knew that was the button I was going to press. <laughs> I was watching your, oh, um, your D line the whole time. In the moment someone broke through, I was going to press that button. That's <laughs> that's all I knew. Which is a terrible way to play, by the way. Don't do that. I just knew it's all I had. Yeah. No regrets. Come on, you sons of oh, yes. bitches. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. They do have a tight formation. That's uh, Fast and Furious, the first one. Too soon, Buster. And then he hits the nitro <laughs> and he wins. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've had a lot to drink. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm tracking. Mostly bourbon. Heck yeah. Basil Hayden. If you work for Basil Hayden and uh, the marketing department, sponsor me. Shoot me an email. Um, if not, well, um, don't buy it until they do. But it is delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Gaskin don't is... encounter with the. <laughs> yeah. Not with that. Gaskin is like my ultimate uh, fantasy flop. Because the Dolphins just wouldn't run the ball despite the fact that Tua was super incompetent as a passer. Yep. <laughs> Made me so mad. His best games, he had five carries and he'd be five for five. Oh, what the hell am I thinking? But Jalen Waddle was my best it's rookie, amazing. like, yeah. last pick of the draft. You got him at the last pick of the draft? Yeah. In a 12-man league. That's incredible. Is that the one I was in? No, you are in the 14-man league. That's right. I did not get him in that one. Was sad. Because someone took him in... Probably last like four or five rounds. Someone took it yeah. pretty early. <laughs> I was sad because I knew it was going to be good because I was like, who do the Dolphins have to throw to? <laughs> Every year people say, uh, what's his name? Who's been there forever? Devontae Parker. Everyone's Devante like, oh, Parker. they have Devontae yeah. Parker. I'm like, who? I knew exactly who he was. I put faith in him in fantasy for years. He is garbage with the garbage quarterback. He might be good with, like, Tom Brady. Yeah. But now he's got another new alarm thrown to him. Old Mac Daddy Jones. Oh, shit. I like how Patriots fans are like, oh, yeah, Mac is Mac is the way. He's the future. He's amazing. He's the best. Best rookie. He had the most wins. You do realize one of those wins, he threw the ball two times, four times? <laughs> yeah, three times. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> the wind blew more Matt than Nagy. 20 miles an hour, and Ben, or Bill Belichick's like, can't trust this dude. <laughs> he cannot throw the ball. <laughs> oh. Yeah, have Matt Nagy for a head coach and see who wins the most. <laughs> Let's give all rookie quarterbacks Matt Nagy. That's the real test. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you think Trubisky's gonna... I think he'll be better. He had a winning record with Matt Nagy. We all blame Trubisky for the longest time, only to find out it wasn't his fault the whole time. <laughs> so I kind of feel bad for him. I hope he has a hell of a good year just to uh, uh, get past the hate he was given. Oh my god. How did you get through that? I just... I don't know, coach. I took the ball. I just started running. I... Uh, <laughs> I held the stick that direction, I just went. There was no flopping, flipping, or flocking. Uh, I can't think of a third FL word. Um, how does one? Whenever I see 94 on the Dolphins, I, I just think of Cameron Wake and I get scared. Lucky's not there. <laughs> Where is he now? Is he on what is the Saints? Uh, oh, Wake is retired, I think. Is he? Yeah. I thought he played for a different team for a year or two. Three yards um, on that last carry. He may have. Yeah, he probably went somewhere late career, but I don't remember. Uh, could have been Saints. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, win number one. Probably not gonna happen because I thought I was gonna win the last one. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. You never know. Back to throw, Darnold. God. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to me. stop him a couple of yards short. That'll bring up fourth down after back to back to back three yard pickups. Good play, good play. There goes my phone. Crack the corner on uh on my desk on the screen. Uh, Mr. Dukey Coughlin, I am now seeing for the first time. That is not who I wanted to throw to, so I am real lucky. Oh. That you are not drinking the whole game! I only took one shot afterwards, you son of a bitch. That's why you won. The last win is an automatic disqualification. I'm uh, two and two. <laughs> I do respect that he uh, sent me a video with some shots afterwards and admitted he wasn't really going to So, for the honesty, I'll say it is a no contest. Um, so I'm one and two today. But keep in mind, it makes him susceptible to play action passes as well. Donald completes it. They showed off a nice juke in the The most frustrating thing about these X Factor running backs is how they can do any move and will always get past at least one person for free. Yeah. Like anytime I play Dalvin Cook, um Christian McCaffrey, um Colts guy. Jonathan Taylor, that's it. It's frustrating because they will break at least one tackle no matter what. Not that one. Duke, don't you sit there and laugh. You know what you did wrong. Naughty, naughty boy. Cheers. Like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right. Place. I was just gonna follow those two bullying that guy. <laughs> that was my plan. <laughs> they were after me. Right. McCaffrey. McCaffrey, fall forward, please. He's still got it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. Oh, it's a fake. No. Oh. <laughs> 
The noodle arm Magoo. It's good. I've been trying to do a fake for the last two uh, <laughs> extra points. <laughs> but I, you weren't letting me get away with it. Got me slipping. That's like the fourth one I've tried today, and I have not gotten away with one. <laughs> and like the guy throwing it has never been blown up. I've tried different plays. It's just the guy that doesn't catch it, or the first one I tried was against the 49ers, and uh, old Fred was back there, and he's insane, so I did not get with it. Ah, nice. I'm honestly surprised. I didn't know Carolina had a defense. Yeah, they've got a pretty good one. That's the first I've heard they of were, that. They were a top five last year, I just think. They just had such again. terrible you know, quarterback play. What? I think they also led the league in, um, like, always having the worst starting field position for defense. Like, they were just always given, like, 30 yard <laughs> drives. <That sounds laughs> All right, I need 30 seconds. I'll be here. I'll be... Yeah, sure. One gets to listen to Ben bouncing on my knee. Alrighty, tidy. Let's go. Let's go. I prefer lefty Musi. Okay, so it's all up to the magical left arm of Tua Tungavailoa. The fact that you have to say it. <laughs> Just hoping I can put enough the right song, good actually. vibes out there that it's gonna work. I remember he was a top five pick that most teams said they wouldn't touch with a well five foot noodle arm. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Dolphins getting their super high value pick. Oh, you got me. Nice job. I thought you were going to Gaskin, and I was like, fuck, I, I can't. Yeah, I, I just heard that one. Oh. Good job. First win since before uh, I finished my first drink, so that's impressive. <laughs> After that first drink, it went real downhill. Trying to go downfield and make their plays, but defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected, but it's not often expecting to see a quarterback blitzing and run support and tackling the runner for. Oh my God! Oh, I just had to run through him, and I was. Um, Dolphins going to take their home, second yeah. timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I like how the injuries have not hurt Christian McCaffrey's now reputation Dolphins. at all. That's complete to McCaffrey. Touchdown, Panthers. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Did you like that? That's good. And thanks to the interception, the Panthers offense cashes in with six. Gonzalez to add the PAT. Cam Newton, baby! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot he was on this team. 
<laughs> yeah, it's easy to forget. <laughs> yes. Every damn time. Yes. Okay. What do we got up our sleeves? This playbook would actually be really good if I had like Josh Allen or someone because they have some, like tons of complicated deep route stuff. Steps away to his left. This is the farthest he can throw it. <laughs> the back of the end zone? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Actually, <laughs> decent, but yeah, not bad. Alright, at this point, uh, I'm just trying to get you caught up to the amount of drinks I've taken, which is almost impossible. Deal. I saw him coming. Wow. see this? Probably, I mean, if you watch this stream, you probably could. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. But you know, most offenses have Drink audibles, finished. and they've changed plays when they see certain sets. A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. Oh, thank you. So they will accept the penalty. The one set that was a penalty. <laughs> Someone give me a rule book. Where is, uh... What's his name? Who's the rule officiating guy they always call in when they disagree with the call? Um, Ed Hockley. No, um, Terry Marco something. Rubio? That's a great question. I don't That's remember. not it. I'm blanking on he, it. He, like, moved to be, like, the head guy for the USFL or something like that. Right at the 50-yard line. Holy shit, he was on the ground and still tackled me. That's insane. Um, it's not your fault. You have especially when it comes to defending the pass it's all about positioning and technique and this is number one. fantastic Nailed number one aka the there. number one last player to get picked uh if it was pick your team's pickup team you might say there's one time out remaining defensively but very true no real need to use it here we got him on that corner out oh did you see me dive way up now the panthers going to use the first on side Alright boys, we need to buckle up. We can't let them score. Instead of running, Darnold's gonna throw this thing. Dance into his lap. That's caught. It's McCaffrey. Right, okay. mm -hmm. The Panthers are gonna use the second of their timeout. I swear I have a different play. Now it's Darnold. Oh. Catch. That's the old Sam Darnold especial. Got me. Nice. Ooh. That was good job. Was That's some drinks. Some serious. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. So here's Darnold now as he'll lead his guys up to go for two. And they go with McCaffrey. Knew it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I'm just like, I'm just going so for it. Thank you. So off the charts we talk about from the offense's perspective. What Max Power. Version. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because it? most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see. I have seen people do it on so TikTok, but it is not something I've seen in the real game. Very difficult. I think you're seeing a lot more now. 
I see people like pitch it back and then circle all the way around to the other side and run it through. I have seen running it straight insane. through as well. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Sick. All right, Tua. I'm gunshot throwing it in the seams now because I just can't. One final try for Tonga by Lower. And that will be incomplete. The game is it. Did you see the streaks? Yeah, I could play another one. A lot of points go up in this one. Good beer down. Another beer. I have another beer in it. So. Didn't drink. didn't have a ton of sips in it, huh? Well, the first From beer in the uh, giant mug of um, bourbon did. Not this last beer. Even if you win a game, that And we only got 13 likes tonight. I mean, we could at least get 15. So. It's true. I had 25 the other day with uh, only like 63 views, so that was insane. Heck yeah. We got significantly more views tonight. Significantly less likes, so can't can't leave early. We got to get more likes. <laughs> Can we blame need... uh, EA for that one? Yeah. We need at least two more people to open up the stream, just look at it, scrolling through, and just click. That's all. I don't feel like it's a hard ask. But maybe I agree. Is. All right. You want to set this one up, or should I? Oh, I got you already. Thank you, sir. I forgot I have to leave the online hub. Yeah, All I kind of right. hate that. I feel like it's not built well. All right. We're going to destroy um, you. You do three answer. randoms first. Destroy me. Vikings, Vikings, Jets, Broncos. Broncos. Cards, Jags, Tex. Uh, um, if you go want to go bad team, I'll go Jets. If you want to go good team. And I also can do one more random. Who did I pick? Jags and Cards, Texans? Jags, Texans, yep. How about are the Jags? Uh, are the good. Jets? Jets are 77. You have Jets? You Sorry. Do the... Yeah, I'll go Jets. Is that what you had? Sorry, I don't. Know. Yep. Yep. Okay, I, I don't. Know. I don't know what's happening. I need to see what the Texans are. <sighs> Holy shit, they're better than the Jags. Oh, because Deshaun yeah, Watson's really technically bad. on the team. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. You go Vikings cards as well. Oh, I already. Sorry, I'm picking the. Uh, planning I, I might be able to back up action i don't know just figured these are the two closest heck yeah I have some dreams. Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston, in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. LFG, everybody. NRG. Let's fucking go. From NRG Stadium to war. Out of the back of the end zone, so we were scared of it because his arms are 25. That was a terrible dad joke. Uh oh, we're at the depth chart already. Well, Davis Mills. Davis Mills is in. <laughs> My third quarterback is a tight end, or was. He disappeared the moment I changed the chart. Amazing. And he had a zero overall. I would have put in. I would have put in that tight end if I was thinking, but I wasn't. I had one thing in mind, and I just went for it. Hell yeah. Gotta get, uh, oh, they do have Carl Lawson in. I think it's funny that uh, they gave Deshaun Watson only an 84 overall after he was like, didn't he lead the league in yards the year before? Yep. Yep. He did. 
Yeah, I think he was an 86 last year. They uh, they downgraded his awareness for not playing. That's why it's down to an 84. That makes sense. Interesting. Interesting that he's considered so bad. He's he just put on a bad team. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. To throw is Watson. He'll check this down to Johnson. Gets by him and now a little daylight. Oh, across the 45. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who was so You know, in different years the Texans team would be amazing, but in uh the team it's in. David Johnson was once a god and polluting the pressure right. Yeah, that's true. Deshaun Watson was picks. good. He played. Um, Cooks has been a thousand yards. Yeah, yeah, their receiving core is actually pretty good. Quarterbacks who can move. Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. Okay. Watson looks to throw again. Ooh, nice. And he finds Danny Amendola. And Danny Amendola, who's had good years. Wow. He's always been mediocre in my mind, but he's always been made a big deal out of. Now it's Watson. Oh, Ooh, poke check. Wow, who do we still have here? Watch it. Who do we still got in the chat here? What's up? What's happening? You guys have been quiet for a while. Throwing again on second and ten. I understand there's not many of you. Oh god. Such a good pass rush, this Jets. Ah, uh, every team I play against has a good pass rush. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's the Texans' offensive line, so. Yeah. Nice. Oh. I super did not think that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god, watching the linebackers so he knows when to hand it off and then just trips over the first people who he just handed the ball off to. And down he went behind the line of scrimmage. On second and twelve, Watson pushes him over. I feel like there was some slight teleportation there, but not that it affected the play that much, but I, I feel like he like animated backwards to the catch. I don't know if you saw something similar. It did. Okay, let's just say that. Cheers. I wouldn't have. Uh, cheers. It would. But yeah, he, he's got a, you know, he's, he's a time traveler. Nothing wrong with that profession. No, no. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. <sighs> you want to climb the Groogier Hill? That's a hell of a last name. First down, Wilson. A throw to the flat for Carter. And he takes Ooh. us up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. This man's got moves. Let's see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time, either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver, although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. 
Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 31. Oh, yeah, let's go long hair guy. Long hair gives some powers. It's true. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw is Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Throw it. Oh my god. <laughs> Would have been a good time to throw with me on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I uh, pressed the button to have you run down. And then suddenly I'm on the ground. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the grab by Crawl. All right. Yeah, how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. Get there. Oh, oh nice. Shit. Insane. Insane. Well done. Four for four. Do you see Zach Wilson um, being jacked out of his mind this season, offseason? Just jump on and hold on. Yeah, I did. He is. He, it's crazy. <laughs> He's massive. He went from like the puniest guy to freaking ripped. Also, super shy guy. Like, didn't look like he fit at all in the position he was playing. Just a rich kid who happened to get there, and all of a sudden, yeah, you're like, where did this tight end come from? Why is he playing quarterback? <laughs> Why is Tim Tebow back again? Oh, come on, 51. That's a nice job there because you got to Used to be Brian Cushing. Back in the day. That was a good dismount. That was a good one. Ah, nice job. Yeah, that's a good one. Are we sure we're not watching the NSFL play right now? <laughs> right. That's what it feels like. We got the Pittsburgh. Uh, Maulers versus the Michigan Panthers. Right off the top of the head, someone has been watching the USC book. I had to do some thinking on Pittsburgh. I almost said Pirates. I almost went baseball. <laughs> the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, they had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if you guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac. but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Oh. <laughs> I was trying some schoolyard bullshit, not gonna lie. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's do some schoolyard bullshit. Name that movie. Is that uh, football? Adam Sandler movie. It is football. Adam Sandler movie. What if that was the tag? Blanking on that. Yeah, that would be amazing. I can't believe I'm blanking. Uh, it's one of the yards. Was it longest yard? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Give up an opening drive touchdown. That's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task? Okay. The streamer's doing so good already, but it's been just giving the ball back to their offense. So that one for one. It's probably me. Maybe I did hit the FCC limit for fuck bounds. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. 
sure I'm bringing up the energy. Sorry, I've been having to mute because I've got some, some loud housemates that are under two years old. <laughs> and they just don't listen to English because they barely understand it. At the 44. <laughs> a lot of effort there for just a three yard gain, and now second down. Flush to his Get over there, Franklin Myers. Oh! Nice job. I shouldn't have clicked on that guy. He was totally gonna. I did a safe catch too, so I thought he was gonna fall out of bounds. Cheers. Good job. Cheers. I'll take some drinks. <sighs> really, you're doing me a service here. Well, I'm trying. Things are about to get high octane. <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not getting tackled. That's all I know. I'm not taking a hit. I don't give a shit. I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> give it away, give it away, give it away. <laughs> I should have actually scored because then we would have gotten the elusive 13 to 5. <laughs> and had to explain to people, no, it's not because of a safety. Right. A Super Bowl only type of score. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice something interesting I've never noticed before. It's like when you've looked at something for so many times. Like when you watch a movie for the 20th time and you notice details in the far background you've never noticed. Yeah. Because you're just scanning around. That behind the goalposts, you can see people walking. The people like oh, get really? snacks and go to the bathroom. Yeah, there's like a slight That's skyline. Close. You can see people walking back there. I was like, what a fucking small detail I've never seen before. Damn it, that's why I'm getting banned. I need to stop going to Fox. Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Fuck! Because if they can't get upfield. Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Oh! Touchdown! Oh. Dang, he's fast. All right. Uh, if you do a pick, you can watch it between the posts. Okay. You can see him back there. Oh, yeah, you can see him back there. Isn't that fucking wild? Sorry. He's wild. I never swear. I don't have to explain this to anyone. No one's here. Fuck, 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 fuck. YouTube, I never swear. <laughs> For the 15 of you that will actually watch this full stream. Um, so not much I'm not sorry. Sorry that I away. was really boring tonight. We didn't get, we gave him some boring oh, man. I think, uh, you know, there's just a point where the random flow of recommendations and shares and all that dries yeah. up. Um, and since any shares... Uh, people gave me were three and a half hours ago. Um, they're generally not still popping up anymore. I need fresh shares. If you want to follow some Madden job. groups and it's share the stream for that, Holy shit. <laughs> what a tackle. But, uh, yeah. Should we, uh, should we see if the boys want to get in here? Oh no, you got another beat right now. Another beat? Oh! Oh, pal, hot hey, you, sir. What I used to do when I first came on, I would say, like, hey, you, uh, viewer number five, and then I would, uh, address them in some ridiculous fashion. <laughs> cool. Love it. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> I tried to pitch it again. I tried so hard. I, you know what else I noticed? The guy on the far right side had no one blocking him and was further down the field. Guaranteed touchdown if I threw B. Yeah, I think I got stuck on his corner and pulled him off the coverage. What are the boys doing? Oh, playing some Madden franchise and Deep Rock Galactic. Tina Wonderlands. Deep Rock Galactic, sounds like. See how four of them in that. Yeah, the only reason I didn't want one party with all of us is there's four people yelling about Deep Rock Galactic, me trying to yeah. talk to the stream, and you and me trying to communicate. Yeah, and totally get it. People watching, it's like, what the fuck is going on? It makes no sense. Um, and it's just an. I know people watching get annoyed and they'll just leave so that's why i was like i'd love to join but it becomes a no i totally totally get it absolutely 
You want some of this spread action? Oh fuck. Woo. I saw it as soon as the as soon as you hiked the ball, I'm like, oh no. Cheers. Cheers. Do you watch um Reels, Shorts? TikToks, anything of the like? Oh my god, who did I just pitch it to? <laughs> uh, I do watch TikToks and, and some videos. I mostly watch the videos that are sent to me. You mostly watch what? Sorry. Um, I mostly watch the reels that people send to me. I, I don't spend a ton of time in Instagram reels, but. Okay, okay. Well, Facebook I reels. I guess. Or, How about those? Ooh, I don't watch Facebook reels. Okay, well, check this out. So I'm on all of those, Facebook, TikTok, mm -hmm. Instagram, YouTube. You should follow one of them. I put up a lot of hilarious shorts, reels, Deal? and tops. And there was one I put up two days ago when I was playing Spyro 2 on PS1. Have you ever played Spyro? Mm -mm. Um, so there's little mini games and things you got to do in one where you're parasailing. Oh, yeah, I have played. I have played. Oh, hell yeah. And um, parasailing, and you gotta go through these rings. And every time I lost, I said cheers and took a drink, and I lost a lot. So I did a one minute cut compilation of me saying cheers and taking a drink on every loss. And it was a lot. It was pretty funny. Uh, I'll send you that one if you want, but if you follow any of those things, you can see it. You want know me to send it to you? Heck yeah, okay. Yeah. Which one? Which platform would you prefer? Uh, TikTok. Ah, perfect. I will send you a tag. Oh God. The first down carry here for Johnson. Trouble with the trolley here. I can't believe how well my Spyro TikToks have done. This is some of my awesome. biggest ones I've ever done. That's awesome. People love, yeah, people love the Holy shit. games like that. That one just got almost 1,400 views. Damn. That's insane. The Spyro ones have been blowing up lately. Uh, all right, where's the cheese one? Over here. Set. All right. It's just their first, so two remaining. I want to hear random laughter out of nowhere. <laughs> Deal. Can't get copyrighted because it's my video. Watson, eluding the pressure right. He's got Jordan complete right side. He's got Jordan. Taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Here's Watson. Get him! Fuck. It is so hard to run through the line. Like, that yeah, was like a prime thing for several Maddens. And now people just break to Echoes. Nice job. I refuse four downs to be what happened. There's not the legitimate conclusion to these plays. Johnson, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 of the 9. You know I'm surprised isn't in here? Because he always, well, there's a few people that like watching stream Madden's. Surprised Corey's not here. I'm surprised Ian's not in here. What the fucking interception was that? Oh my goodness. I'll take it. Thank you, Marcus May. That was insanity. Is Rex Ryan's defense? <laughs> Yeah. Revis Island out here? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh. No. Oh. 
God damn it, I was so thirsty. I had to, I, I had nothing to do with that. That was pure fail by me. Wait, am I losing? Thanks, I would certainly fit that bill as that was one heck of a run there. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates, they're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator. Marcus May happened. Marcus May. Or may not pick off the most incredible interception I've ever seen. <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. The dad in me very much so. There was a, um, a fourth string cornerback on the Jaguars years ago whose last name was Dijibuti. <laughs> I, I freaking love Dijibuti. And oh he was God. actually for Djibouti. his overall Djibouti. and everything. Yeah, Djibouti, that's it. Djibouti is the capital of uh, an African yeah, nation, I cannot remember. Or maybe it's just the name of an African nation, I don't remember. But anyway, Djibouti. Yeah, he was extremely fast and had good yeah, hands. Yeah, he was. But his awareness was just garbage. So his overall rating was like 67, 68. But I remember the compilation video of a guy. Excuse me. Also, excuse me. Um, <laughs> Who would play as him and just yell Jabuti every time he got yeah. an interception? <laughs> yeah. I think that's how I learned about him was that guy. Yeah, someone sent me that video and I laughed many, many times. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Texans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's oh, able to get nice. the first before he's taken down at the 36. <laughs> I'm under salt. Better than being under pepper. <laughs> God, I knew you were such a dad. I do it again. Holy one hand! Throw and catch. Good lord. I thought that was massively overthrown, to be honest. Dang. I forgot how fast Brandon Cooks is. Uh, what do they call him? His rookie or lightning? Or something? Thunderbolt? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> He showed what he's got there. And I'm telling you, oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. it. Worked. It's no. <laughs> I'm so glad that worked, because if that didn't, I would have lost by a field goal. <laughs> now I get to lose by a touchdown. Hey. Hey. Well, you never know. Anything can happen when your teams are this bad. That's true. Do you really trust the Jets to run no. four minutes worth of clock off? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Did you enjoy your seven? I'm uh, headed to the fridge right now to crack it open and take my seven. I'm, I'm close to having to run to the fridge myself, but it is down some stairs around the corner through a room and then. Uh, that times two. To that grandmother's house. Ooh. She does have the chip. Offense coming up now to start mm. their next drive. Nice. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense. Oh, nice. I was waiting for you to cut back into that massive hole where I was waiting. I should have. But it was a massive <laughs> hole. <laughs> Yo. You had like. I had eight feet of space. I was thinking if someone laid down that was six foot tall, you'd still have more space. <laughs> oh my god. The timing could not have been luckier. Uh, excuse me. Oh damn, that was good. Yeah. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it. I'll throw it. Oh, he's off. What? What a confusing series of animations. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Uh, I thought maybe I was close enough to stop it. Then he caught it. Then he wasn't out of bounds. Then he got tackled. Not out of bounds. But didn't get tackled and was fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought he was about to do a McMullen right there. It was close, wasn't it? Throwing again on second and ten. Wilson over the middle complete. It's more. Touchdown. You have such fast players. Yeah, they are flying. Oh, Elijah Moore. That's why that dude's yeah, actually really insane. Good. Yeah. He just didn't get the ball a lot, but towards the end of the season he started really picking up. And that gives him a three point lead. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Look at the trickery. He's using some trickery on me. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to get that um, 17 yards, you know what I'm saying? Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown look pretty good so they'll be hoping to do that once more and it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach they felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive and we'll see if they can do just that on the run he'll let this go deep right side that's gonna be knocked away and incomplete Scramble drill there, partner. Some teams have some pretty good rules for it. Quinn, do you have the stream up? Saying, make sure you work your way back into the sight lines of okay, your so back. The whole time I've been you take the play talking deep, to the one person. I was just talking to you. To do on that one, unable to connect. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I can't always tell because sometimes it'll say one person, but there's like two or three people talking to me. And I'm just like, what? How? What? How? <laughs> it's never an accurate number. It's just the number I have. Akins was super good with Deshaun Watson for about two games a year. Just enough for fantasy players to pick mm -hmm. him up and regret everything. Yep. I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they did. And this is caught on the sideline on the feet in. They are. What a catch. This is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So in jet territory now. Here's first and ten at the 34. To the air yet again. Watson buying time to his left. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's pretty much game. But not quite. Well, if I get four stops. Stream. So, you in the first one or did I? Ah, uh, you did. That's shocking. He did. He did a great job. Oh, there it is. What the hell? Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't want to get tackled. I also. <laughs> That's not what I try to do. I try to dive in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here we are. Here we are. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches. Get him! Get out there! Oh my gosh. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just glad that the TV two TV guys TV over there TV. guarding nobody just looked at me. Yeah, just watching you. Oh, oh, he's not. Who is he gonna pass it to? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we gotta make sure we're ready. Looking to maybe throw for it here. Watson steps away to his left. That's caught. Oh, he got it. Oh, he did? I gotta win by a touchdown. Plenty of time. Where'd your binky go, you silly goose? Anson, where'd your binky go? I dropped it. 
Did you? Uh, all right, can I have um, one full minute to go to the bathroom and get a uh, drink? Absolutely. All right, BRB. Let's search for a binky. Uh, I'm going to take these ones out because they're pretty much all empty. So be right back. Okay. Everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. We're here. We're playing one of the worst games of Madden Alive. Let's go. It's true. <laughs> so sorry that we subjected you to this, Anson. Well, <laughs> cheers. You can't be only good teams. Cheers. That's true. We can't have nice things. We were... I think the bad team's games are fun. I do, too. You never really know what to expect it's... when things just happen. Yeah, and, and we were, you know, raised in Catholic Wisconsin, so it just feels natural when things aren't going well for you. <laughs> oh, this man named Quentin Clements put in the chat. Anson? Fuck is Anson. Uh, if you agree to give us all current and future earnings, don't say anything on stream in the next 10 seconds. Mm. Oh, Sorry, that. yeah, that's legally where Anson is. Um, yeah. I'm William. God, I don't have half of my reticles. I thought I had that. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming. This is an awful an important play there right here in third and ten. And now it's big pressure here. Throwing now is Wilson. Get there. Pass yes. by Crowder. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the board the line. Good play. Uh, quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality. And that's a quality catch right there. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. I know a lot of people won't want the draw called in that situation. But every now and then, that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And hauled in by Croft. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 37. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Here's Wilson. 
Oh. Well, I feel like I owe you a drink after that. If you'd like to watch me do it on the stream for you, I will give you one Aaron Rodgers chug attempt. Ooh. So they're ready if a tackle yeah. happens inbounds. So now second and ten. Yeah, tell me yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I just thought of that. I was like, oh man, why haven't I uh, ever done that before? Now Wilson. It's gone by Davis. That's a big one. Hey, Jonathan no, Williams, what's no going Jonathan. on? Rock Nation 42 in the building. Hey, good to have you, Rock Nation. What up? How are you doing? Good to have you in here. Welcome to our uh, two terrible teams trying to go at it game. Oh, God, that was my guy. Oh, God. Gotta make sure the teams look bad. Oh, shit. This is it, huh? Final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with ten seconds left. What's good, mate? Ow! Only way to get the lead of um, course with a touchdown. Madden? Sometimes not right now. Just kidding. I mean I'm uh <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean this might be good. I don't know. I don't know. We got some shenanigans right here. We're one and one right now. I beat him in game one here. The critical deuce. Get there. Oh! Oh my god, you picked it. <laughs> Just got done raging, but pulled it out. Nice. I, uh, before this game that we're in right now, I was raging for. Oh, that counted? Yeah, it did. It's a game. Good job. Thank you. I, uh, I was raging hard. I lost a lot. I won my first game. The next two were horrible losses. Third one was really close loss. And these two have been close wins. Um, so I'm three and three tonight. Honestly, I need to play one more. Um, against Critical Deuce here to balance out my wins. I don't know if I'm going to beat him again. I have to dip on you. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. All right. I'll, be, I'll still be on for a while, but the kids are going crazy, so That's fair. I think I That's complain fair. a little. Alright, I'm going to take on a random person. This is to see if I'm a bigger uh, winner or loser for the night. Quinn, thanks for playing. It's Quinn. Thank you so much, buddy. That was fun. Appreciate you. Uh, have a good one. If you're if you're playing after stream, hop into our party. Alright. We'd love to have you. Perfect. Uh, we'll see what All happens. Right. See you, buddy. Yeah, catch you later. All right. Used to be the number two in the world on Xbox One. Tough in the series, though. Um, last of Klein, ready for Man 23. I'm super ready for Man 23, to be honest. I'm uh, very excited that they're putting um, Man back on the cover like the old uh, Super Nintendo games. I think that's going to be super cool. I've been... I've never been in, like, the top 100 in the world, but I've been in the top 1%... Um, on several different Maddens. Uh, I normally have always played as the Bears, and this is the first game where I caved and started playing as the Rams, um, just to play as a better team. Because I, it, maybe you understand, but you can play as a bad team, and Bears are my team, and they're bad. Um, all you want, you can learn that team and get really good at them. And I got to the top 1% with the bears but then all i played was the chiefs the bills the ravens the rams the bucks and then i just kept getting beat by significantly better teams with significantly talented players who are really good at man and uh I stopped playing for a while so i slipped down and now i play some people that i can maybe take on but I don't play as purely the Bears anymore because I just can't. <laughs> Who's your team? Who's your favorite team? And who do you normally play as um, when you're playing Madden? I just learned the Rams, so it became my team. Um, I never liked the Ravens. I liked the ability to run, but I didn't like the receivers. 
uh, Chiefs, I felt like they were so good and overpowered, and I just overused their pass game and with just their picks. Good job there. Yeah. Locate his tight end Came out Cincinnati, but now I know everybody on my team. I feel you after a while, you got to play with KC. If I played with KC more, maybe I'd do better, but I just didn't know the plays or something. And I made a lot of mistakes whenever I play KC. I overestimate him. Big Bengals fan. Dude, I was super excited for the Bengals this year. I really wanted them to win over the Rams, even though I've been playing with the Rams. Uh, Pretty much just because of the overdog, uh, ah, underdog team. You know, they didn't have all the hype, all the big players, the home team advantage. Um, I can't say I was ever a big Bengals fan until pretty much this year. That was dumb. So bad, man. I'll make a good choice here. I played as the Bengals on here before too and the Bengals are like sneaky good even though they're in the Super Bowl like they don't have a lot of big name players I feel like they haven't gotten a lot of attention for anyone other than Chase and uh well, I'm blinking but their quarterback I'll know his name in a second here but uh Let's see, Joe Burrow, sorry. Those two are the only two that got really any attention, even though that defense was sn sneaky nasty. They were pretty that fucking good. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he almost Back to the top, I got to the top. Bengals was overall. Bengals overall was uh, trash. Okay. I'm looking at uh, my stream chat and it's terrible, but I was knocking heads off. Dude, their secondary is insane. I don't know if it's going to be as good this year. I feel like they lost a lot of their defense, but that secondary was full of pick machines. They're so good. Um, the run game super good. This goes out wide for Mixon. Receivers, honestly, Chase got all the attention, but like Boyd, um, oh, what's the other one I'm blanking his name on? 85 over there, I think. Was stupid good. They had super good receivers before Chase got there, and then Chase was one of the best rookies we've ever seen. Like, he looks like he's like a six-year veteran out there, uh, just killing it, insanely fast. Higgins, T. Higgins, that's the guy. Yeah, I had him in fantasy for a while. He was crazy. I mean, I had a few of the receivers in fantasy. The only one I didn't have was Chase, and I was super sad about. I was in fantasy football. I'm always unsure about these rookies, but I always take shots on them late. Throwing on second and long. Burrow. See ya. Oh shit, he's fast as fuck. Scared about losing CJ in his mind. I know he was injured a lot. But man, when he was good and he was on fire and he was healthy, that dude was insane. I remember the first game I really noticed him because I wasn't watching the Bengals a lot beforehand. The first game I noticed him was like like 200 yard game. Right. Just blew up, picked him up in fantasy real quick, and uh, he kind of fizzled for a little bit. But that guy is super boomer bust. He didn't do a lot, some games, but some games he just destroyed. Where'd he go, the Jets? Try and run for this with Akers. And he's able to pick up the first Jets or Giants or something? I'm trying to remember. It's hard to remember all the offseason moves until you see guys in uniforms. I believe so. Yeah, so you're kind of the same as me. It's hard to remember everything until you see it. Oh. That was a bad pass. Cooper was beating him by so much, and I threw it right before the cutoff. I threw it when he was 
beating him on the crosser. Damn. I forgot the Bengals had Trey Williams. I remember being on the Vikings and being mediocre to good for years. All right, so uh, the game I'm playing here, I got my beer here, and uh, every point the other team gets, I drink for it. So that's six drinks here. Took the money. You know, it's hard to blame some of those guys for taking the money um, after making the Super Bowl because you might be mediocre you might not have had a lot to do and not, not to say CJ is mediocre but you might not have had to do a lot with that win as long as you're on the Super Bowl team or win or just getting there I mean you still get paid huge teams want a guy who's been there to talk to their players and say hey here's what you do here's what we did um, and the scary thing is, is if you can't repeat you might never get that shot of that kind of money again so they just some of them just take it I think about the only time I see guys do whatever they can and not take the money is Patriots Tom Brady just to continue to play with Tom Brady there was guys who wouldn't take the money but a lot did a lot would take the money and go somewhere else Unfortunately, Bill Belichick was so fucking good at turning over players that didn't matter to him. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Oh, what a grab by Woods. And he's brought down. I don't know. You think the Bengals are still going to be good this year? I think they got like two years left. My thoughts on that are because. In about two years. Well, that sucks. That was for Cup. Uh, two years they're going to have to pay both Burrow and Chase. And that's going to be a lot of money. Uh, after that, their defense is going to start to suffer a little bit. That's yeah, a turnover. I do bring some of those. You would think they might be a little so I think that team's got a little bit uh, limited time. Well, and they took the shot down it's field. Joey's league. I mean, for that one. probably. Right. Joe Cool. Uh, Joe Cool. Yeah. Take this to the other side so long as that ACL holds up, On that play, as you saw the route start to he's crazy good. I, got the sense that maybe the I like how good he is. And, and uh, and just how cool and calm he is. So as a Bears fan, I remember the Bears beat the Bengals earlier in the year. He threw three picks on three offensive plays in a row to the Bears. And he still almost came back and won. Like, he fucked up bad and still almost stole the game. So... That's the kind of credit you got to give to the guy. He doesn't get fakes. That's the kind of quarterback you want. A guy who can make those many mistakes and come back and play. And honestly, not his fault they lost the Super Bowl either, right? I don't know if you would agree with me. I put it on uh, Pirine because while he was getting spun around by Donald, that pass was damn close, and Pirine didn't look like he tried. Like, there was a lot of good players who would have dove for that shit. Do you have a window because Lamar Jackson and Brown's getting lots of Is Lamar Jackson kind of hate it? Browns and Watson could be good, but it could be good for like one year. He ran trash, yes. I agree. I was kind of mad at him. As he spun around and did that like backwards over the head, nothing toss. Here's Burrow. 
He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, Weddle. He's so old. Oh, thank God that was out of bounds. I was not in a good formation. There in a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play. That was so bad. I'm like, get this man off the team. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Sucks when you got a guy who just doesn't try. You know, like I said, plenty of players who have laid out um, their body for that throw, for that moment. Also, Chase, unfortunately, was super wide open down the field. Like, if they had two, three seconds more, uh, they would have won that game. Polluting the pressure right. So Pitts so Mixon wasn't on the field. I was screaming, "Where the fuck is Mixon?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. I'm like, okay, so this is the most important drive of maybe, possibly, all of your careers. And as the coach, you put P Ryan out there. I think wasn't P Ryan's main thing is that he's a receiving running back. That's like his biggest thing. That's who he is. That's what he does. And it was the one thing he couldn't do on the most important play. Here's Powell on the return. What do you think about Eli Apple now that I just saw him on the field? Uh, you like him? You hate him? You like his trash talk, or you think it's a distraction? And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it. I think players who are mediocre to decent trash talk, because hopefully if it gets in other players' heads, um, that's their secret weapon. They level the playing field by trash talking. Um, so after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. There's Stafford. And it's seeing nowhere to throw. He chucks this one away from Like, uh, what's his name? Now it's third down. He's on my team right now. Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment. Ramsey. I feel like Ramsey's extremely good. And communicating well, too. But he can't compete with some of these receivers, so he trash talks a lot to get in people's heads. To the air. Stafford. Going up top for Cox. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Bengals secondary is so fucking good. Cooper was just breaking away on that guy, that other safety. On most teams, that safety, the free safety there, would not have gotten back. Who is that, Jesse Bates? Bates is super underrated. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. The Burrows throw into the hands of Sample. And he's out of bounds just before. Yeah, they're down. Uh, back, but come on, Zach Taylor. The biggest play of the game, mixing out. I'm all for Apple. He had uh, he had to hype himself up. He did. He did. Almost made you wonder if, if he wasn't hyping himself up, would he have been cracking under the pressure? Social media was talking a lot of shit to him. Well, I was assigned Honey Badger, but we drafted Daxon Hill. I haven't seen much on Daxon Hill. Is he, uh... Is he pretty solid? I was a little disappointed myself that uh, Honey Badger went to New Orleans. I didn't think they had cap space. It's like, how are they... Yeah, they were pushing real How are they able to sign this guy? They're in cap hell. Like the Rams, but the Rams keep signing big name people too. I think I have enough lead up that I can get away with that pass and I just cannot. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Stafford. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see from the 
32 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Bengals have recovered it. Look at the big man rumble. He's at the 30. 10, 5. Time for That's unfortunate. First time I've had a fumble like that. Straight up and straight down. I see that play. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back up to Cincinnati and Brandon God. That's unfortunate. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon God. Yeah, it looks small on tape, but if we didn't uh, get Jesse Bates signed, uh, we'd be gone. Or we'd be in big trouble. Did you guys sign him? I thought he had a contract here or something. I don't know. Must not have, because that definitely would have been something I would have heard about. My bad, Typo. No big deal. No big deal. I got you. Yeah, I was a little bit sad about the Bears draft not helping out uh, Justin Fields more, because the dude looked insane with what he could do on uh, Matt Nagy's offense. Um, no offensive line. I'll admit he had running backs. Last year he had receivers. <laughs> This series just got Mooney. Um, but I did like getting Jaquan Brisker safety. And uh, uh, who's the cornerback that we got? I forgot his name. Gordon. I think our secondary went from one of the worst to one of the best this year. And they're sneaky underrated. You didn't want a franchise tag? That makes sense. Nobody does. Even though you get paid hell of big money, um, nobody wants that one-year contract, you know. And it's fair, because look at all these guys who've been franchise tag, get injured, and get paid nothing, and have maybe no long-term contract, no faith in them after that. Uh, tackling like garbage. And he knows that he's targeting me. Hey, maybe I can use it. First and ten, down at the 31. Burrow looking to pass. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. That was looking out of bounds. Inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And this is going to result in losing yardage. All right, loss of one, They're loss of one. It's going to be passes the rest of the way. It's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Let's see what happens. Burrow on play action. They'll roll him out oh, right. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Chase is so good. This has pretty much been my night. Um, I've had it. It's been a while since I played Madden on screen. But I've had uh, plenty of undefeated nights when the game first came out. This one. And they just got it done. And, slowly but and then tonight it's like just being completely defeated. I mean, I won three, lost three, and I'm about to lose two. Sucks. Jeez. Bengals got a nice corner out of Nebraska. Cam Taylor Britt. Way better than Dexter Hill, but they both made 4 3 4 Speaking about speed, this is the fastest draft. I've ever seen everyone there was not every, I wouldn't say everyone but an insane amount of guys who had under four fours or four four under four five I said within four fours to four three speeds and the turnover last time that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one oh my god good lord four for twelve with three interceptions turning it over on the last possession is that really symptomatic yeah, I like that. Your analysis symptomatic of the success. Very rusty. What I like is that you gave me the word and I just kept using it. <laughs> He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to have great field position. This is returned just shy. I play the soft screen every once in a while on like Sundays or something when I'm bored. I promise you, I'm never this bad. <laughs> I look terrible. 
Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Could be that I'm drinking uh, either bourbon or a beer per drink uh, per point scored. Which I might owe some too. Oh, yeah, the Bears secondary is looking good. Eddie Jackson was good like three years ago. Might be good again, who knows. A lot of talk that he's getting back to form now that he has a better secondary around him. Uh, Jalen Johnson, I got his jersey. Last year was the second year. He was literally shut down. I think for a while, quarterbacks had a um, 15. 15 point, 15, whatever it is. QBR against him. He may have given up one touchdown the whole year, maybe. I don't remember exactly. But he was insane. And then the two guys we just drafted to our secondary didn't give up a single touchdown last year. Or if I'm not mistaken, the year before. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 23. I'm on Xbox. It's your Xbox. Um, got the Series X. So I got the uh, current gen version. Going out of bounds. Is the team that just threw that interception? What are we doing they gotta here? be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So second. Hell yeah, I agree. Xbox is the way. Thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati. Flushed out right. Throw right side gonna be caught by Higby. And able to get this. Okay, one yard, one yard. Uh, I can do that. Thirteen or fourteen before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite but if you're number two in the world, um, I'm never gonna play you. I've been humiliated enough tonight. <laughs> it has been a it maybe one of my worst three nights of Madden I've ever done on live stream. Surprisingly, I haven't quit. One dude literally sent me a message. Um, GG, at least you're not a quitter. It's like, oh man, thanks. Thanks for the uh, compliment, I guess. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, dude, I was PlayStation 1, which I actually have my working PS1 right next to me. I uh, took it apart, cleaned it, fixed it. Got it working again. Um, PS2. And then I played a little Xbox with some other people, and then Halo flipped me. I went Xbox 360 when it came to that gen. Purely for Halo. So, uh, then I met a bunch of people because I got Xbox Live after that and couldn't flip back, you know. You make your friends, and if you flip back, you lose them all, so you just step over. That's how it is. Not now. Uh, I was one, uh, at one point, I was on Xbox. Um, yeah, the Xbox Series X also. Nice, nice. Dude, hard as fuck to get these. I got my Series X out of pure blind luck. So when they first came out, I had a buddy who bought three. He was buying all three for his roommates because he worked second shift. So he wasn't working at the time that uh, they released. One of the other guys happened to get a free moment at work and uh, tried to get one just in case. He also got one. So the guy who bought three was like, well, shit, I have an extra one now. I don't know what to do with it. Do you want it? If you don't want it, I'm just going to cancel the order and let somebody else have it. And I'm like, no, 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 I will, I will take that. Give that to me. So, uh, <laughs> so he sent that over to me and it was super awesome. So I was very fortunate considering how much uh, people have issues getting them. 
You've been a man since 94? Holy shit. Um, I have mad... I gotta check over there. I've got it on the Super Nintendo. I don't know which one it is. But I do have a Super Nintendo, man. Uh, Tecmo Bowl. Super awesome game. One of my favorites. Um, you know, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson is straight up the man. Um, first one I ever played was a demo on PS1. Jam Pack. Uh, you could only be the Buccaneers or the Broncos. I remember I was always, always the Broncos at the time. Uh, I was like 96. And then the first Madden I really bought and really played a lot of was 12? I think it was 12 or 14. Whichever one had Peyton Hillis. Uh, so that was my first Madden, and then after that, I was at midnight releases every year afterwards. I didn't really know football that well um, in middle school and all that. I had some friends that uh, convinced me to play it in high school. I learned football through playing it. I wasn't good. Let me be perfectly clear. I was not I was far behind all the other kids who actually knew what they were doing. Um... Yeah, they've had enough and then those friends, it was, it was Madden every weekend that we hung out. Madden, Madden, Madden. And I'm like, alright, I have no choice but to get good at this. And through Madden, I learned how football plays. I learned man versus zone. I learned everything. I learned the players. Madden taught me football. So I played the shit out of it. And, uh... Me and uh, one of my buddies is on PlayStation. Damn it. That was a uh, panic. Panic, bro. There goes the game. Um, him and me would always do races to see who could get to the top 1% the year newest fans would come out. I could beat him once in a while, but he was always significantly better than me and he would get to the top 1%. Usually faster than me, but if he got busy with work once in a while, I got there first. Um, in the last, like, two or three years, I hadn't been there. This year, I got there, and I just got my ass handed to me all the time. Tecmo Bowls, love Thurman Thomas. Hey, he's the man. John, thank you for the like. Cheers. Good to see you. You gotta throw the ball away. I know. Sometimes you can cross the field it and get away with some bullshit. I just did not. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. That catch good for only a couple. Timing is everything and they work on this cut all the time. Alright, I've got one in here to play. And, uh, it's the right defense. It wasn't working earlier at all. It would not have worked again. Damn, he's got such a good defense against me. I can't. I, you know, everyone's got the miracle plays where they can get away with some school out of I do not have that. Not a good toe tap. Not a good toe tap. He can sack me all day or the ball going in the stands. Yeah, that's true. It's better than the giveaway. I'm used to quarterbacks um, fumbling it for no damn reason. Going up top for Cup. And my goodness, another interception. Defense is played a different dimension than the offense, and that's what You know, um, what I liked about old Maddens, you could completely control the receiver, the tight end. You could pull them in whatever direction you needed to to get that um, catch. And in this one, you try to control a receiver who's running downfield. You try to pull him back. You cannot. He just keeps running while the cornerback just stands there and picks it off. You become receiver it's really unfair. There's a different level of play to the way receivers and tight ends and the defense play. Kind of sucks. And I swear in this one you could for a while pull your receivers and pull them into ways to get kind of um, 
make a play and the ball catches. But now you cannot. Most of the time you cannot. So you know what I'm talking about. Won't let you jump. Exactly. Exactly. Defense will get right up here. They're right in your face. I mean, you can box them out and you can't jump. I had a couple interceptions today where I was in front of them. And they go play action now. Burrow rolling to his left. And that is completely boxing them out. And uh, they just jumped over me. It was theirs. That was it. A few of the runs he's made along the way. He should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, hey, Jonathan, man. Uh, been awesome talking with you. Can I ask you a favor? If you wanted to drop a like right now, you would be number 15. Do you want me to get to 15, buddy? I'll throw you up to cheese as well. Also for that interception, I mean, that was a good interception. That's about the only thing they've done right. Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. So what was the question? I uh, I was asking if you would uh, do me the honor of dropping a like in here and get me to 15. 15 likes. It's probably going to be my last game because I'm sick of losing. But uh, I was like, I got a pretty good interception there. So. I feel like maybe I earned it. And a touchdown. Not bad. Not bad. Hey. I see the 15. Hell yeah. Cheers. Appreciate you, brother. I uh, started to, started to take a drink, realized I was kicking, and I'm like, oh, freeze. All right, continue. That's gay to kick it away. They kind of say it with a bit of a rhyme. And he returns this to the 22. So he's either going to run it up on me or he's just going to end it. If he runs it up, I can maybe get a pick and get it back to 21. Now, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Now it's Burrow. Oh. At least the clock stopped. The clock stopped. He's going to keep running it up. I got another chance. With a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here we go with Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. Also, does the strip thing work at all? I'll follow Bro, follow my YouTube, Rock Nation 42. I'm not uh, big, but I'm trying to get it going. You on YouTube? I am as well. It's also uh, just Black Ram GX Gaming on YouTube. I'll definitely send you a follow. Hell yeah. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Can we look you up right now? certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So now second yeah, there you are. after the incompletion on first down. I got you. You got almost double the subs I do. I'll tell you, those shorts do real fucking good, though. Don't they? For me, my YouTube shorts, they're either zero views, like two or three views, or like hundreds slash thousands. It's either nothing or an immense amount of people. That's good to have the sack, but unfortunately, I don't get anything more out of it. Well, it was a good game. Good series of games. Oh, man. Oh, it's hell, man. It's my ears are just coming in sweat from this. The networking trying to get people to subscribe, family, friends, and all. 
Oh, well, hell yeah, that's, that's what you gotta do. I mean, the best the ball game. That's almost unheard of. If anyone else is in here and wants to uh, check out my boy Rock Nation 42, in go in there, give that man a follow, give him a sub. Subscribe over there on YouTube. Let's get five next I saw he's got a bunch of uh, man videos. So, hell yeah, I hope the best for you. Um, thanks for popping in here and chatting with me for so long. You know, sometimes people pop in and they're just like, hey, uh, here's my uh, channel. All right, uh, I'm out, you know. <laughs> so, don't like that stuff. But if you're, you're chatting, you're hanging out. I didn't have anyone chatting or hanging out with me, so I, I really like just talking to somebody. So I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be looking for your shorts and stuff. Um, thank you for following mine back. Appreciate it. Fact, hell yeah. Cheers. Yes, sir. Anytime about to find yours. Pretty sure it's just Black Ram GX Gaming. Let me double check. Should be pretty active on YouTube. Yep, yeah, Black Ram GX Gaming. Just the same as you see here on Facebook. Um, same uh, logo and all, so should find me on there. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Doing men today because it was Friday. It's kind of off day. Normally I'm on Monday through Thursday. Um, been playing the old PS ones. I got that fixed up. Um, gonna do a little bit more of that this coming week. Um, Thursday and Friday. I convinced the girlfriend to uh, play a horror game called The Quarry with me. It's basically like a movie game. You make the choices, whether those choices make the players live or die. It's kind of up to you. Um, the Sheriff. Um, what's his name? Will Arquette, Will Arnett, something like that. I, I can't remember. From Scream is the Sheriff in the games and everything. Super cool looking game. We're doing that, and then we're going to be doing some VR soon. One sec, I'm a little slow. No problem, no problem. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Black Ram GX Gaming on YouTube, here on Facebook. Follow both um, if you'd like. Follow one, whatever you're up to. Doesn't matter, it's all cool. Um, so question tonight, our trivia question we do, is which Greek historian is known as the father of history? Was it Pluto, Herodotus, Achilles or Dick Magnus? I'm thinking it's the last one. Done, subscribed, hell yeah. Check out, I got another beer. I'm gonna cheers you right now. Cheers. Achilles, I love it, I love it. Throwing the dart right at the bullseye, my man. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do some shout outs quick and we'll come back to the answer here right at the end. Uh, if you know it, post it into the chat like Jonathan. Or uh, we're there on YouTube, over there on YouTube. Sorry, my words start to blur together. Um, put it in the comments. Uh, thank you, William Dodge, for the like and share. William Harris for the like. Ryan Montgomery for the like and share. Uncanny for the like. Levant for the like. Michael Payne for the like. Travis Lynch for the like. Tyler, thank you for the like. Ladarius, thank you for the like. Super cool name, by the way. I love that name. Kayla, thank you for the like. Brian, thank you for the like. TJ, thank you for the like. Quentin, thank you for the like. John Zimmerman, thank you for the like. And Jonathan. John and Jonathan right at the end there. That's pretty cool been a minute <laughs> well for sure um i definitely got this one wrong so don't feel bad if you didn't get it right i didn't know it's definitely dick magnus i'm just kidding it's not that's a funny name that i just came up with um so thank you all thank you uh critical deuce and uh duke for playing um uh, madden against me tonight and kicking my ass i hate you all um the answer tonight uh which greek historian is known as the father of history pluto Herodotus, Achilles, or Dick Magnus is Herodotus. Never heard of him before and don't know why he's the father of history. I have no information behind this. Um, I took a trivia thing. I got it wrong, and that was the answer. So that's that. Um, so it was a super fun night. We played almost five hours of Madden. Um, if you watched the first two and a half hours of me endlessly ranting, I'm sorry. It was probably funny. I hope it was. Otherwise... Um, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> if you watched all my losing, I'm sorry. If you watched the close games, hey, good job. Damn English class. It gets you every time, doesn't it? 
Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We won't be back on tomorrow um, because I'm doing what's called the trifecta near me. Um, as you may have seen, been having some beers tonight. Uh, the trifecta is this winery, brewery, and distillery all next to each other. It's like 35 bucks to go to all three and do a tasting. So I'm going to do that. We'll be in no condition to stream tomorrow. Um, Sunday is just going to be recovering. And then we'll be back Monday. Monday through Thursday per the usual 6 to 9, which is hilarious time, Central Standard Time. Um, we'll be doing more of these PS1 games, uh, finishing up Ape Escape for sure, and then who knows after that. Uh, Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursday, The Quarry finally comes out. We'll be playing that after that. Who knows? Probably VR games, maybe more PS1, but probably VR games. Um, because the stream helped me out. You guys all, through your stars, donations, helped me get that Oculus Rift, or Oculus Quest 2. So, uh, we'll be doing some shenanigans. I don't know how to do it, but we'll figure it out. So, until next time, stay fresh, cheese bags. Everyone have a good night. Love you.